Okay, hopefully eBay should have some in stock. I mean, after all, the console has been out for like two years now, so it should be reasonably affordable. Okay, and enter. What? Okay, come on! Even two years after release, people are still scalping this thing? Man, people are greedy. <sighs> well, I guess eBay's out of the picture. So what do I do? Hmm... I guess I'm gonna have to get Iggy on this. Iggy! Iggy, get in here! I gotta ask you a question! Uh, yeah, don't know what's up! I was just in the middle of watching a golf game! Uh, why? Well, it sounds boring at first, and honestly, it kind of is, but if you do something else while you're watching it, then it's not really that bad. It kind of works as good background noise. <gasps> oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, anyways, Ziggy, do you remember when I got that PlayStation 5 a little bit ago? The PlayStation? <gasps> oh, that thing! Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was so much fun. Oh, man, good times, Ziggy. Good times. Iggy, that was literally like six months ago. Hey, Junior, short-term nostalgia exists, okay? I mean, after all, we are kids. We haven't really lived that long. Anyways, what about the PlayStation 5? Oh, uh, well, basically, I'm trying to see if I can get my hands on the new Xbox Series X. The new Xbox. That way I can have all the current consoles of the current generation. You know, I can complete the console triangle again. Y you want an Xbox Series X? Uh, uh, sorry, Junior, no offense, but the Xbox Series X isn't actually that different from the Xbox One. I mean, can't you just use your your current Xbox, it works just fine, right? Uh, but Iggy, I'm a kid! I have to have everything new and exciting, or else I'm not gonna be cool anymore, and then everyone at school is gonna make fun of me, oh... Junior, everyone at school already makes fun of you! Well, hey, don't act like you're any better, Iggy! But anyways, I really need to get this Xbox Series X, can you help me, please? Uh, I just don't know, Junior, I mean, that's a really big purchase, you gotta be really careful before you drop that much money. Speaking of which, where are you gonna get the money for it anyway? Eh, I'm sure I'll find a way to get that money. I mean, after all, we always find a way to get it, right? <sighs> yeah, I guess that's true. Wait, so you never really answered my question. Why do you need this new Xbox? I mean, are you actually gonna plan it a lot, or are you just getting it so you can have all the consoles? Well, I do actually want the console, but I also keep on hearing these voices in my head. They keep on telling me things like, Junior, you have to complete the console triangle and let us show our true form. You have to go get that Xbox Series X. Please, Junior, you're our only hope. Junior, what the hell was that? I don't know, that's just kind of what they told me. So are we going to go get this Xbox or what? Uh, yeah, you know what? On second thought, if you do actually end up finding some money along the way, you should probably put it into some psychological therapy. I don't really want any part of this. I'll see you later, Junior. Wait, 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 wait Iggy! Huh? You hate her! Why are you always hating on me? Oh, you're such a fake friend! Clearly you're not one of my day waters! What a square. I don't need him. How can we get this Xbox on my own? Yeah, and then I can rub it in his stupid non-Xbox wanting face! Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. It's actually kind of giving me some determination. Alright, Junior. Let's go get you this Xbox! Okay, with this GoFundMe, I should be able to afford this Xbox in no time. <laughs> oh, did someone donate? Oh, come on! Only one dollar? Well, it's a start, I guess. Where am I gonna get the rest of this money? Uh, hi guys, it's me, Junior, and uh, I was just wondering if you guys could give me the Xbox Series X. <sighs> well, I suck. Uh, Mario, Luigi, do you guys think that one of you could possibly lend me $700? I need it for something important. Okay, Junior, you really think you could just walk up to us and ask for $700 casually? Junior, that's a lot of money. Yeah, sorry, buddy. We don't have that much money to just be throwing around like that. But, but you don't understand. I need this for my new Xbox. Junior, just come on. We're not going to give you the money, okay? Just scram. We're trying to relax. Aw, man. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to scour the most lonely corner of the internet. Craigslist. Uh... Oh man, all of these are way too expensive! Wait a minute, what's this? The Xbox dealer, meet me outside, zero miles away, and zero dollars? This sounds like a deal, I have to go buy an Xbox for- well, not really buy, but I have to go get a free Xbox from whoever this Xbox dealer guy is. Let me go outside and see if I can find him. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. This kind of seems like a sketchy place to buy an Xbox from. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Where is this Xbox dealer guy? I'm looking for you if you're here. Hello? Xbox dealer? Are you here? Ah, uh, yes. I see that you have sought to seek my services. Hey, that was a pretty good alliteration. 
Damn, I'm smart. Oh, hey, Xbox dealer. Why can't I see your face? Are you sure you're not a kidnapper? Oh, what? What? No, no, no. I'm not a kidnapper. I'm anything but that. You see, I'm just here to be the Xbox dealer. I'm your friend. I'm going to give you your Xbox, and then I'm going to stuff you in the trunk of my Honda Accord, and then I'm going to really loudly, obnoxiously blast Kesson music just to torture you. But the first part is the only important part. I'm going to give you an Xbox. Oh, phew. That's good. So can I have my Xbox or what? Uh, well, you see, that's the fun part. Would you like to play a game? little boy uh yeah obviously that's the whole reason that i'm here i'm here to get an xbox so i can play some games now please just give me the xbox right now or i'm gonna give you a bad review if you really think that i care about my reviews i literally just made this account as a throw uh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa wait I iggy uh, uh no no i'm not iggy i'm his best friend squiggy squiggy uh, drawings and lines and ah uh, screw it i mean i don't even know what i was trying to make up there my improv is horrible oh my god iggy i can't believe you actually set all this up stay out of my xbox journey like why are you even doing this don't you have better stuff to do well to be honest no it's a saturday night none of us really have anything to do well that still doesn't give you a right to sabotage my xbox oh my god i can't believe you iggy Okay, how are my legs not bleeding after sitting on all this stuff? Oh my god, why is Iggy so weird? Like, he's really this jealous of me wanting an Xbox? Man, he has daddy issues. But you know what? I really need this Xbox, so I'm just gonna order it on Amazon for same-day delivery. And bye! I have no idea how I just paid for that, but I don't care because I'm getting an Xbox in the morning, and that's all that matters. Oh, I can't wait for tomorrow morning! <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't know that was for me. <sighs> Hello? What? Hello? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> no way! Oh my god, after a long night's wait, I finally got my Xbox! You hear that, everyone? I got my own Xbox! Whoa, literally no one cares. What the hell is a red box? Hmm, I mean, the box isn't as big as the PS5s, but oh well, time to take it inside. <laughs> Oh, God, this thing is heavy. <laughs> yeah, there you go, my little angel. Welcome to your new home. This is going to be your temporary staying spot for the moment. And by that, I mean I'm about to open you up right now. And luckily for you, I actually have no idea how to open a box like this. So... Oh, my God. This thing looks so beautiful. But why does the controller look exactly the same as the last Xbox controller? Oh, well, I can excuse that. I just can't wait to see what this looks like once it's all plugged in. There is an Xbox sitting on my face right now. I am in such a silly situation. <laughs> yeah, all right, I finally got my Xbox Series X set up. Now it's just time to turn it on. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cool. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually about to play my new Xbox. All right, Xbox, let's play. Ooh, that is such a cool startup screen! Oh my god, I am so bummed to start playing this thing! It looks so awesome! Okay, seriously? Updates? I guess I probably should have expected that. That's how all consoles go. Uh, hey, Junior, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Iggy! Hey, Iggy, do you see what I got? Do you see it? Do you see it, Iggy? Yes, Junior, I see it! How'd you get your hands on an Xbox Series X? Oh, you know, Dad just loves me, if you know what I mean. I mean, you know, like, whenever you're a good child all the time, he just gets you whatever you want. Why do I feel like Dad didn't actually get that for you? Uh, yeah, he didn't. Oh shoot, Iggy, my update finished! I think it's about to show me the brand new home screen! Uh, oh my god, it's beautiful! Wow, it looks so much different than the last Xbox. I know, right, Iggy? It's so freaking crazy! <sighs> okay, Junior, you have to calm down. I'm trying not to freak out right now, but... <laughs> Junior, how actually did you get this Xbox, though? And especially, how did you get it overnight? I don't know. I just went to eBay and ordered one. And for some reason, it actually went through. Well, okay, who spent $800 on my card? What was that? Uh, nothing, nothing. Iggy. There's nothing you need to worry about. Uh, you want to watch me play some Skate 3? Uh, yeah, sure. Put it on. I want to watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I just don't get it. Like, who could have done this? Why would they have done this? Why my money? I mean, I don't even think I have beef with anyone. So, like, who could have done this? Uh, hey, Matt, yo, what's going on? I heard you from the hallway. Is something wrong? Oh, hey, Luigi, you won't believe this. The craziest thing just happened. Somebody spent $800 on my account. Well, wait, they did? And it wasn't you? Luigi, why would I be freaking out if it was me? No, it wasn't me. Look! Uh, oh my gosh, what kind of maniac could have done this? Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out, Luigi. And it says they spent $800 on... 
Walmart? Well, how do you even spend $800 at Walmart? Like, are they buying the store itself? Yeah, that is really weird. I mean, as far as I know, none of us even shop at Walmart. So who could this be? Uh, I don't know. And it's kind of freaking me out, to be honest. So I have to get to the bottom of this. I have to figure out who did this to me. Right. We have to figure out who this sucker is and teach him a lesson. Uh, hey, Junior, I have to go to the bathroom, so be right back. Okay, Iggy. Oh, man, my character sucks really badly in this game. Who's controlling this guy? Because it's definitely not me. Yeah, I still just don't get it. Like, why would huh? someone do this? I don't know, man. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it's strange. What are they talking about? I, I don't know, Luigi. I mean, if you look closer, it says gaming. So whoever took my card apparently spent it on something gaming related. Yeah, but that doesn't really narrow it down that much. I mean, we all play games here. Who could it possibly be? Uh, hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, hey. Iggy. <gasps> oh, no. I should have seen this coming. I should have known it was you. Iggy, you're the one that used my card. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. What? So you're the one that spent all that money on Walmart? Oh, shit. Gee, shame on you, Iggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Mario, I wouldn't use your card. I mean, I'm fine with everything I have. If I can't afford something, I'm not going to use someone else's money. Wait, really? Oh, phew. That's a relief. At least one of the kids here is mature. Anyways, we're trying to figure out who spent $800 on my card. Yeah, it says they spent it on something gaming related. I don't know. It's going to be confusing us. Do you know anything about it? Uh, uh, let me think about that. Oh, shoot. They must be talking about Junior's Xbox. But why would he use someone else's money to buy it? Dude, what? Uh, what? I didn't say anything. Dude, you suck at whispering. I literally just heard all of that. You're telling me Junior used my money to buy a new Xbox? Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, technically, uh, yes, yes, he did, Mario. He did use your money to buy a new Xbox. I kept trying to tell him not to, but... I guess he did it anyway. Uh, oh my god, I just can't believe him. I I'm so mad at him, he's gone too far this time. I swear, as soon as I see him, I'm gonna- uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, he's a child, you can't say stuff like that. You're right, Luigi, I need to learn to control my anger. Hey, Iggy, where is Junior? I need to go talk to him. Uh, are you sure you're just gonna talk to him? Iggy, just tell me where he is, okay? I promise I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, okay, he's over in the room with all the other consoles. Okay, thank you, Iggy. Come on, Luigi, we have a criminal to bust. Well, that was easy. Thanks, Iggy, we're gonna go make sure that Junior gets the punishment that he deserves. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, I guess. I'm gonna use a computer. Ugh, Pokemon workout compilation. You know, I find it funny how I just got the newest generation Xbox, and yet I'm playing an Xbox 360 game on it. Like, as if it's gonna look any different. Oh, hey, Junior. Hey, buddy. Hey, what have you got there? Yeah, Junior, what are you doing? <gasps> is that a video game? Uh, yeah, it is. I thought you guys knew what video games were. I'm just playing my new Xbox Series S. <gasps> oh, you are, huh? And, uh, how exactly did you acquire such a fine piece of craftsmanship? Uh, I used the laptop and I clicked buy on a random eBay listing. <laughs> well, Junior, the problem with that is that you used my money to buy that Xbox. That's what you did. Whoa, 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 wait. That was your your money? Yes, Junior, that was my money, and you know you meant to spend my money. Well, no, honestly, I didn't mean to spend it. That was an accident. Oh, yeah, it was definitely an accident that you bought something with my money that you coincidentally couldn't afford yourself. Junior, you really think you were gonna believe that? But Mario, I'm being serious. I thought my dad's car was linked to the computer, not yours. Well, Junior, that doesn't make it any better. You're still using someone else's money to buy something without their permission. Junior, you're lucky you're a kid, because, I mean, this could be a serious crime if you were an adult. Oh, no, Luigi, we're not letting him get off that easily just because he's a kid. So, Junior, we're gonna make sure you get the punishment you deserve because pack that Xbox up because we're gonna be returning it. Uh, well, that was kind of the other part I wanted to tell you guys about. I don't have the receipt anymore, so we can't return it. Y you don't have the receipt? Well, why not? What could you have possibly done with the receipt? Well, I kind of may have ate it. So, if you actually want to find that receipt, you're gonna have to find it deep somewhere in my stomach mixed up with a bunch of spaghetti and pizza rolls. Y you ate the receipt of an eight hundred dollar purchase that wasn't even supposed to happen in the first place look i'm sorry okay there's just nothing we can do now i mean i already opened my xbox it's already fully open and all i kind of messed up the box so especially can't return that and i mean i ate the receipt so there's nothing we can do yeah man you is kind of right as much as i want to see justice served i don't really think there's much we can do here <sighs> no luigi we're gonna find a way i swear we're gonna find one come with me uh okay see ya junior have fun with your new xbox i guess thanks luigi bye oh my god okay luigi we really need to get this situation figured out. Well, oh, hey, Iggy, what are you doing on the computer? What? Nothing, 
nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna go take this to the bathroom now. The bathroom? Uh, make sure you be careful with it. Don't drop it in the toilet. I can't make any promises. <sighs> okay, whatever. Anyways, Luigi, we really need to deal with the situation. So what do you think we should do? Should we just, like, take his Xbox from him? Hmm, yeah, that'd be smart. And then we could go sell it and make all the money back. I like the way you think, Luigi. That is, when you actually do think. Which is usually a pretty rare occurrence. But honestly, I don't really know how we're gonna pull this off. I mean, Junior is super selfish about his consoles. Like, whenever he gets them, he gets addicted to them. And he doesn't share them with anyone, so... This is gonna be a lot harder than we thought. What do you think we should do? Well, uh... <gasps> oh, I have an idea. I mean, we should go get Bowser to do it. I mean, since Bowser is Junior's dad, Junior has to listen to it. <gasps> oh, yeah, I forgot about Bowser. Wait, are you sure Bowser's gonna believe us, though? I mean, he's probably just gonna take Junior's side. It's his own kid. I mean, it's worth a shot. Like, what are we supposed to do? That Xbox is freaking huge. At least Bowser has enough strength to lift up that thing. Yeah, and he has enough fat. Okay, Luigi, I like your plan. Let's go tell Bowser about what Junior did and see if he can do anything about it. Okay. Wow. Uh, hey, Bowser. Bowser, we need to talk to you about your son's behavior. Yeah, he's gone too far this time. I mean, I know he says that all the time because he's always doing stupid stuff, but seriously, he has gone too far. You need to do something. Oh, come on, guys. I'm sure whatever he did wasn't that bad. I mean, he's a good child 17% of the time. Come on, what did he actually do? It can't be that bad. Bowser, he spent $800 on a new Xbox using my card, and apparently he can't return it. Whoa, wait, he actually did that? Yes, Bowser, that's what we've been trying to tell you. Okay, and? Well, what do you mean, and, Bowser? This is a big deal. He shouldn't be spending other people's money to begin with. Let alone $800. Let alone on a brand new console. It's not even important. I mean, it's not my money, and it's certainly not my problem either, so I don't know why you guys are telling me this. Bowser, he's your kid, and you shouldn't be letting him do stupid stuff like this in the first place. It's gonna make it a habit. Like, what if he starts spending your money? Oh, my God. Okay, fine, fine. I'll go punish him. Jesus, just get off my back. All right, thanks, Bowser. Hey, Luigi, do you think he's actually gonna do it? Mm, I'm not very hopeful, but, well, Let's see what happens, I guess. Uh, hey, Junior, I kind of wanted to talk to you about something. Did you actually use Mario's money to buy a new Xbox? Wait, I don't even know why I'm asking that question. You're holding it right now. Wh okay, come on. How many people are they going to tell this about? Okay, fine. Yes, Dad, I did use his money to buy a new Xbox. There's nothing I can do about it now. I mean, I tried working things out with them, but they weren't really being reasonable about it. So, I don't really know what I can do. No, no, no Junior, I was going to say... And a boy, Junior, that's what I'm talking about! Wait, what? I thought it was a bad thing to spend someone else's money. Uh, not if it's Mario's money! You really think I'm gonna care about what you do with his money? Stupid! Uh, good on you, champ. Good on you. I'll see you later, Junior. Have fun with your new console. What the heck was that? I can't tell if that was bad parenting or if my dad was actually cool for the first time in a while. Hmm. Okay then, back to Xbox. Okay, guys, I punished Junior. Are you happy now? Oh, wait, did you actually? Yes, Junior, I did what you asked me to do. Well, I'm gonna go check then. <sighs> of course he didn't. Bowser, he still has his Xbox. Well, wait, you wanted me to take away his Xbox? Well, you didn't say anything about that. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Bowser, considering we can't even return the Xbox, that's probably the closest thing we can get to it. We just have to take it away from him. Look, I'm not going to be part of this whole fiasco anymore. If you want anything, you have to go man up and talk to Junior himself. Or just get the money back. I don't know. So you're seriously not going to help us then? Nope. Now, if you excuse me, I'm about to take a nap between these cushions. So I'll see you guys later. <sighs> Come on, Luigi, let's go. He's clearly not gonna help us. Yeah, I guess not. What else are we supposed to do then? <sighs> oh man, this is comfortable. Oh, why haven't I done this before? <sighs> well, that didn't work. All right, we need a new plan. Yeah, and we need it fast. Since I came up with the last plan, do you have any ideas? Mm, let me think. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. Luigi, we should hire a fake robber at night to come in and steal his Xbox. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is probably one of the most messed up things I've ever heard you say. Come on, Luigi. That's why I said at night. You really think Junior's going to stay up that long to actually see the robber? Like, he falls asleep really easily. He's not going to pull an all-nighter. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. He's not cool enough to stay up late. All right, Matthew. I guess we're going to go find a fake robber somehow. It'll be easy, Luigi. I have a ton of friends. Like... Uh, uh, I'll find someone, okay? Okay, Luigi, so I brought Waluigi to be the decoy robber for Junior's Xbox since he's fresh out of jail and he's ready to get back into his life of crime. Well, fresh out of jail? What, Matthew, don't you think that's a bad idea? Relax, Luigi, it's fine. I made sure Junior was asleep so it's not gonna scare him, I promise. Now, uh, go in, Waluigi. Okay, at your service. Okay, I'm looking for an Xbox. <gasps> oh, this must be an Xbox. Okay, let me just take this then. <laughs> ah, man, this thing is so heavy. I'll figure that out in a second. Where's this kid? <sighs> this 
sleeping like a baby. All right, try to figure this out. All right, time to wake up nice and early to play some Xbox. Xbox? Xbox? Where'd you go? Oh my god! Somebody stole my Xbox! Oh god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Somebody stole my brand new Xbox and I'm... Wait a minute. I just remembered. I can use the Find My Xbox app. Yeah, I'm gonna go use that right now. He must have just ran away or something. Nobody would steal it. Wait, the, the Find My what? Okay, how could you have possibly messed that up? Look, I didn't know there was a Find My Xbox app, okay? You can't blame me for not keeping up with the times. I've been in jail for like three years. How was I supposed to know? Yeah, yeah, just save it for the judge, you criminal. Oh, we should have never let you out. Oh, man, we were so close, Mario. Yes, Luigi. Yes, we were. Why is it so hard to steal an Xbox? To steal a what? Well, uh, hey, Junior, uh, I didn't say anything. I was just watching while Luigi get arrested. Yeah, did you see it happen? It was super crazy. You should have been there. So, it was you guys that were playing to steal my Xbox, huh? Uh, no, Junior, not at all. We have no involvement in this. Yeah, we were the ones that called the police on Waluigi because we saw him going down the stairs with your Xbox, and we wanted to make sure that justice was served. Uh-huh. Look, just stay away from my Xbox, okay? I really love that thing, and I don't know what I would do without it. Oh, yeah, sure, buddy. We'll make sure to stay away from your Xbox. Luigi, let's go back inside. Yes, let's go back inside, Mario. Uh, good day, Junior. Good day to you and your Xbox. All right, bye. Hey, Mr. Policeman, can I have my Xbox back? Well, no, no, are you kidding me? You don't deserve that, you no, twerver, hey, shut it, shut it. Okay, yes, you can have your Xbox. We just have it in the car for research purposes, but you can have it back in a second once we get him arrested, okay? Well, that was a disaster. Why is it so hard just to take away his Xbox? Well, you know how kids are. They get really overprotective over their stuff. Hmm. <gasps> Wait a minute. If we can't steal his Xbox physically, <gasps> we should steal it digitally. Luigi, how are we going to digitally steal a physical item? No, 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 Matthew, let me finish. So we call Microsoft and we tell them to ban Junior's Xbox. That way he can't turn it back on. <gasps> oh, I see, Luigi. Let me go get Microsoft on the phone right now. <laughs> All right, then I'll tell you what to say so we don't mess this up. Okay, Luigi, it's ringing. Put it on speakerphone. No, I'm not gonna put it on speakerphone. Well, how am I supposed to tell you what to say? Oh, shush, Luigi. I think he's on. Uh, hello? Hello, thank you for calling Microsoft Support. How may I help you today? Uh, yeah. So, basically, I'm calling in today to make a report. I have a friend here that has a really illegal Xbox. He keeps putting a bunch of hacked games on it, and I'm gonna need you to boot his console offline, because it's a huge act of piracy. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. How do you know his Xbox was hacked? Uh, well, he told me. Yeah, yeah. He was telling me all about it. He was saying, like, oh, we can play any game we want. Look at how crazy this is, you know? He was just flaunting it to me. Wait, so you're telling me your friend committed a crime and then openly admitted it to you as if that's... Sir, this sounds unbelievable. Well, look, I don't know what's wrong with my friend, okay? All I ask is that you boot his console offline, okay? I'm trying to do the right thing by reporting an act of piracy. Don't you care about piracy? Well, yeah, I guess we do. I'm gonna need his console serial number if we're gonna take action into this. Well, a uh, serial number? What the hell is that? Why do I need that? Why can't you just boot his console offline? Uh, sir, go ask your friend, what is his Xbox serial number? Then come back and give it to me. We can't figure out whose console this is without the serial number. Uh, okay, stay on the line, I guess. All right, be right back, Luigi. Uh, Junior, what is the serial number for your Xbox? The, the serial number? Dude, I don't know anything about serial. Why are you asking me? Uh, no, Junior, I'm not talking about serial. Your Xbox has a thing called a serial number. I need to know what it is. Well, I don't know what that is, so I can't really help you with your question. Sorry. Are you sure? Yes, Mario, I'm sure. Okay, whatever. Let me just go see if it's on the console or something. Why do you even need this serial number thing anyway? Is this some kind of a password? If that's the case, then I'm especially not giving it to you. No, Junior, it's not a password. I just need it for something important, okay? Okay, let me see if it's on the back of this thing. Uh... Oh, there's some numbers here. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the serial number. Huh. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, thanks, Junior. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Don't really know what I did, but if he's thanking me, then clearly I did a good job at whatever I did. Okay, Luigi, I got your new serial number, so now we can get his console off. Lu Luigi, why do you have the phone? Oh, sorry, man. I got bored while you were gone. Here you go. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, hello? Are you still there? <laughs> your friend is way funnier than you. You gotta get better, man. What, funnier? I wasn't even trying to be funny in the first place. <sighs> okay, you know what? Whatever. Look, his serial number is... Okay, just noted that down. Thank you very much for the report. We will do as much as we can to deal with this case as soon as possible. Thanks for calling Wendy's. What the hell was that? Uh, bye. Well, that was a weird phone call, but I guess time will tell whenever he gets banned. Hmm, I wonder which game I should pick next. I mean, I have so many to choose from. It's kind of hard to pick. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick... Wait, what happened to my Xbox? Hello? 
This Xbox console has been banned. Uh, how did my Xbox get banned? Uh, I haven't even done anything. Uh, I don't think I've done anything at least. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. How could the mighty Microsoft possibly ban me? I haven't done anything. What am I going to do? I don't think I can live without the Xbox. Wait a minute. I can pray to the console gods, and maybe they can get me on band. Okay, okay, let me do that right now. Uh, gotta clear the space and start praying. Uh, mighty Consolius Godicus, please help me in these desperate times. Okay, contacting Microsoft servers right now and getting you on band. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Please hurry. <laughs> Wait, he already got my Xbox on band? Oh, awesome! I love these console gods! Alright, time to get back on Xbox! What even was that? Oh my god, I'm so sick of this kid! Okay, Luigi, this is the last straw. This is completely ridiculous. I don't know how Junior keeps on escaping our plans, but... Oh my god, I'm so frustrated. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right, but we still shouldn't give up. Why is he so overprotective over that console anyway? <laughs> Stupid looking console. Fridge looking console. Looks like a freaking mini fridge. Luigi, I think that's it! What, fridge? Maddie, what does that have to do with anything? I was joking. No, 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 Luigi, you don't understand. I swear, I remember once seeing a mini fridge that looks exactly like the Xbox Series X. That's what we have to do. We have to go replace this Xbox with a new Xbox Series X mini fridge. There's no way they actually make that. Wow, they'll really make a product of anything, won't they? <laughs> yep, and it's gonna work to our favor. Come on, Luigi, let's go place this in place of his actual Xbox. But, Matthew, this thing is way too big. There's no way this is gonna fool him. Luigi, he's dumb. He's not gonna notice the difference. Here, let's just go put it, okay? I'm gonna need you to lift this for me. <laughs> okay, Matthew, let's go. Uh, J Junior? Where is he? All right, Luigi, go put the fridge there. Uh, how did he got this, man? Yo, Jesus, this thing is heavy, and it's huge. Hopefully, he falls for this, I guess. <laughs> yep, hopefully he does. Okay, Xbox, let's get back to business. Uh, wait a minute. Why is the controller off? I don't remember leaving it like that. Is something wrong with my Xbox? Oh, my God. Holy. My Xbox became a dad. Oh, my God. This is so cool. And then it's going to start having Xbox babies. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. Wait a minute. Hey, this isn't my Xbox! Who messed with my Xbox? Oh, I thought my Xbox actually grew. Oh, this must have been Mario and Luigi. They keep on trying to take my Xbox away from me. You know what? That's it! That's it! Oh my god, look at him, Luigi. He's getting so mad. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, what's he gonna do about it? <laughs> that is it! I have had enough of all of this! You know what? Console gods, ascend me! Now! What? You want to ascend now, but it takes time, my child. I said now! I have some business to deal with! Okay, okay, very well. Ascension starting. <sighs> Thank you! <sighs> Uh, what is he doing, man? Yo, how is he even doing that? Uh, I don't know. I saw him doing this earlier. It was really weird. Hey, Bowser, come fix your kid. <sighs> I've had enough of all this. My Xbox is for me and me only. And I'm going to make sure that the console gods protect me for as long as eternity shall go on. Uh, what's going on? I heard a bunch of yelling in here. What, Junior, what are you doing? <sighs> Console gods, protect me from these vermin. They are my enemies. Yeah, Bowser, I don't really know what he's doing, but he says he's ascending and he keeps talking really poetically for some reason. What can we do about this? He seems kind of dangerous. Junior, get down from there. You're not supposed to do rituals without my permission. I feel the console gods. I feel the power within. And I feel the protecting me for the rest of my life. Well, I've done everything I can do. No, Bowser, you can't give up yet. We need a plan. Mm. Oh, there's a bunch of consoles in this room. Why don't we just try moving them out of the way? Uh, that might work. Try it. Okay. All right. Let me just try moving. Ow, ow, ow. What the heck just happened? You stupid buffoon. You can't touch the consoles while the console gods are here. Uh, listen up, you console god people. If you don't give me my son back, then I'm going to... Oh, Bowser. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. You messed with the wrong people now. Ah, how about you get a taste of this? <laughs> what is that supposed to do to me? Ah. <sighs> what the heck is... Ow, 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 ow. Well, Junior, are you all right? Luigi, I'm not Junior. I'm Mario. I'm actually inside of his body. Quick, move me to a different room. Uh, okay, go to the white bedroom. I'll meet you there. Okay, so now I'm in here, and now all I have to do is just take the hat off. 
<laughs> Ow! What the heck just happened? Well, I'll tell you what just happened, Junior. We just saved your life from those weird god people. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did, Junior. Try staying out of that room for a while. It's not good for you. Come on, Luigi. Let's go to bed. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea after all this. So, good night, Junior. W what? What even happened? I don't even have any memory. Uh, hey, Junior. What was all that screaming about in the other room? Oh, hey, Yoshi. So, basically, I'd acquired all the consoles, and then I was talking to the console gods, but it just kind of got way out of hand. W wait, uh, all the consoles? Junior, you do realize that there's more consoles out there, right? What? No, there isn't. There's just an Xbox Series X, a PS5, and a Nintendo Switch. Uh, well, you know, there's also a Steam Deck, and an Oculus, and a Switch OLED, and an Xbox Series S, so there's a lot of consoles, dude. Oh, is that so? Well, then I know what my next destiny is. Oh, my stomach! Well, Iggy, it looks like I'm getting the munchies! Junior, you really couldn't have said that in any other way. W what? I'm just saying I'm hungry. Do you think we should go pick up some breakfast? Well, I think we have some pancakes and bacon in the fridge. We can have some of that. No, 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 Iggy. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying we should go get some breakfast. You know, like from a restaurant. What do you think? <gasps> oh, I see what you're saying, Junior. That'd be so much fun. Where should we go, though? I don't know. That's kind of why I was asking you. I don't really have any ideas. I'm too hungry to have any ideas right now. Hmm. Uh, what about McDonald's? No, their scrambled eggs taste like cardboard. We need some better stuff. Uh, IHOP maybe? No, IHOP's for rich people. It's too fancy. No, it's not. It's like the least fancy restaurant ever. Well, I just don't really want like a big meal, okay? That's basically what they expect you to eat there. I just want some really quick breakfast, that's all. Uh, well, I think Sonic has some breakfast. I mean, I've never really had it before, but I think it's there. And our local Sonic's not too far away, so we can just go pick it up. Ah, huh, that's genius, Iggy. We should go to Sonic. But I don't really feel like walking there. You know how we always walk there? Yeah, I don't really feel like walking there either. Well, great. Now we have a new problem. How are we supposed to get to Sonic? Hmm. <gasps> I have an idea! W wait, really? Oh, dang. We're on a roll today. Okay, Junior, what's your idea? Oh, I think you know what it is, Iggy. Ooh, that is definitely what I want. All right, Iggy, now that we're at Sonic, what do you want to get? Uh, I don't know. Iggy, you had the entire car ride to figure out what you wanted and you don't have anything? Hey, man, what can I say? I'm a busy man, <laughs> you, you know? Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm, I'm just going to try to order. Let me just... <sighs> Got it. I can't breathe that. Hey, can I get the, the breakfast toaster, please? Yeah, sausage, bacon, or ham. Uh, let me see. don't want sausage, bacon, or ham. Uh, can I get bacon, please? Yeah, do you want the combo or the toaster? Uh, well, what's in the combo? Um, it comes with a side item, which is fries, tots, or onion rings, and a drink. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do that. All right, fries, tots, or onion rings? Uh, onion rings, please. And what's a drink? Um, oh, let me think about that. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Uh, hey, can I get a high C orange? We only have the, the red high C. Oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna order a few. I don't know what you want. Um, biscuit sandwich. Sausage, bacon, or with sausage, please. Fries, tots, or onion rings? Uh, with, with fries? Okay, what's a drink? And a Powerade. Uh, that'll be it, thank you. Okay, thank you. See, I'm actually polite. What, what do you mean you're actually polite? Are you saying I'm not? Uh, I'm just saying your track record's not too good, Iggy. Anyways, let's just wait for this food. Uh, okay. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hello, kind sir. So sorry for the wait. Uh, here is your food. <gasps> Ooh, this smells good. Thank you, sir. All right, Iggy, we can go home now. Y you don't want your drinks? Y yeah, Junior, we ordered drinks, remember? <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, we can get our drinks, too. Okay, I will summon them to you now. Uh -huh. w wait, uh, how did you do that? <laughs> we never share our secrets. You'll have to ask our CEO or something. Anyways, have a good day. Uh, yeah, you too, you wizard guy. Okay, again, I don't feel like eating in the car. I don't want to get these seats all sticky. So you want to see if we can find a table outside? Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be best. I mean, it's a nice day outside. We could do that. All right, I'll go try to find us a seat. Well, wait, Junior, why are we so far away from Sonic now? Oh, well, there were too many people at the tables. I didn't want one of them making fun of me for being a turtle. B but you talked to the worker. He didn't make fun of you for being a turtle. Well, look, it's just a self-conscious thing, okay? Don't worry about it. Anyways, let's just get our food out. Okay, whatever. Wait, what did you actually get me? I wasn't really paying attention when you were ordering. Well, I'm glad you asked, Iggy. I got you a biscuit sandwich. It's got, uh, uh, biscuits and, uh... I think sausage. I, I don't know. You'll have to open it and find out for yourself. Uh, all right. Thanks, Junior. Wait, and which one of these drinks are mine? The one that isn't high C. The high C is mine, Iggy. It's mine. And nobody is to touch my high C. Nobody. J Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. I get it, Junior. Okay. I'll just take my, uh, uh, 
Uh, I think this is power in it. I guess I'll take my juice. Okay, good. Glad we could come to an agreement, Nikki. All right, let me just get my food out. <laughs> oh, yeah, my toast sandwich. Oh, this is going to be so good. Hey, Nikki, how do you feel about your food? Mm, I don't know. I'm just wondering why my sandwich is kind of decapitated. Like, what the heck happened there? Huh, uh, I guess the workers don't like you or something. W what? Uh, screw you, Junior. I'm just going to try to eat this. Oh, 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 man, Iggy, I am so full. Oh, oh, I feel like my stomach's gonna explode any second now. Oh. J Junior, you barely even took a bite out of it. Uh, what do you know, Iggy? I doubt you've eaten any of your... Uh, uh. Oh, you actually ate the whole thing? Yep, and it was delicious. Thanks for getting me sausage, Junior. I didn't know you knew I love sausage. Uh, yeah, don't say it like that, Iggy. Anyways, I'm not really feeling that hungry, so I think I'm just gonna throw this away. I'll just go throw this away and come back. Wait, what? Don't throw your food away, Junior. I'll eat it if you want. Don't waste your food. What the heck is wrong with that guy? <sighs> that stuff didn't even really taste like toast anyway. I had all this weird eggy stuff in the middle. Okay, now I can go find Iggy, and then we can go home. W what the hell is this? W excuse me? Uh, huh? Oh, not you, kid. I'm talking about whatever this monstrosity is right here. Uh, that would be a restaurant, sir. Yeah, I know that, smarty pants, but look what the restaurant says. Uh, yeah, it's been called Sonic ever since it opened. What are you talking about? You really don't see the problem here. No, not really. My name is Sonic, and they stole my name and my branding. But no, they didn't. They didn't steal your name. I mean, wouldn't they put your face all over if they really based it off of you? Uh, yeah, and that's what they should have done, but instead they decided to be copycats. Uh, no, I think you're just failing to realize that Sonic is a really common word, and you're just kind of being unreasonable. Oh, you think I'm being unreasonable? Ever since I was younger, things have always been stolen from me. Number one video game king, Mario. Everything has been taken from Mario. I wouldn't even be surprised if this is one of Mario's secret projects. Well, I mean, if it was, then that would be pretty awesome. They make really good slushies. I'd have to thank Mario for that if this was really his creation. So you're really gonna thank someone for blatantly plagiarizing? Look, dude, and considering I've never heard of you before, I really doubt that they base their restaurant off of you. And I'm pretty sure you can't sue someone for a name. Oh, you wanna bet on that? Let me go do some research. What the heck? Yep, you can sue someone for a name. It's called trademark infringement, kid. Uh, okay, congrats. You can sue someone for a name. That still doesn't mean that they base themselves off of your name. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm really trying to explain copyright law to a baby. Well, baby? Well, how am I a baby? Bro, you literally wear a bib. Oh, well, yeah, it's because I'm a messy eater sometimes. You know, it could come in handy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's your excuse you have to explain to the ladies. Well, hey, at least I don't have a stupid name. <gasps> no, you take that back right now, kid. Nope, no take Take back, Seas. I'm not sorry for what I said. <sighs> You're gonna regret it, kid. You're gonna regret what you just said. <laughs> and how exactly would I do that? <sighs> well then, let me ask you this. Do you have both parents? <gasps> uh, okay, you've got me really fired up. Yeah, now you see what it's like? Don't you ever, ever mess with Sonic. Uh, I hate you, Sonic. I hate you. I can't believe you would say that about me. Oh, yeah? Well, I hate you, too. Uh, what's your name? Uh, oh, it's Bowser Jr. W wait, d don't tell me that's your actual name. Uh, yeah, why? <laughs> You're telling me your dad was so uncreative that he just took his own name and put Junior after it and thought that was like a whole new thing? Uh, well, 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 I, uh, uh, I hate you, Sonic! I hate you, and I hate your quills! <laughs> Little baby barely even has a comeback. But don't you talk bad about my quills, okay? They're pretty awesome. I think they're pretty awesome. Uh, I hate that guy! I hate him! I hate him! We're going home right now, Iggy! Well, wait, what? what happened? I got into a fight at someone at Sonic, and I don't want to talk about it. I want to go home! Uh, okay. I guess we're going home, then. Uh... Come with me, Powerade! I hate him so much! I hate him! That little, the, the poopy head! Who does he think he is? Did you actually just call someone a poopy head unironically? Uh, yeah, because it's true, Iggy! He is a poopy head! Like, what the heck is wrong with him? You're saying all these bad things about me? Like, why? Well, personally, I don't really see why it matters. I mean, he's just some random stranger. His opinion shouldn't matter to you. Oh, no, Iggy! He's more than just a random stranger. He's a demon! I hate that rat! A hedgehog. What? He's a hedgehog. I hate that rat, I hate him! Someday, he's gonna get what's coming to him. Well, Junior, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, just some random person made fun of you, so why? Look, Iggy, I understand you're a complete weakling, but people like me don't let themselves get smack talk. You wanna start things with me? You're not gonna see the end of it. You understand? Uh, no, I don't understand. Can you demonstrate? Sure thing, Iggy. Say something bad about me. Uh, okay. I think you have a bad hairline. <laughs> you see what I mean, Iggy? <laughs> yes, yes, Junior, I get it. No more demonstrations. Oh my god! 
So, so you're really this serious over some random guy insulting you? Uh, obviously, Iggy. These hands are rated E for everyone. If anyone wants to try me, they can. But they're not gonna get out without a punishment. Oh my god, Junior, you're crazy. Anyways, there's no point in wasting your energy on that guy. I mean, you don't even know if you're gonna see him again. So, what's the point? Mm, I don't know, Iggy. It's a small world. You can run into anybody at any moment. So, just know that the second I see him again, oh, he's not gonna see it. And by that, I mean he's not gonna be able to see His it. eyes are literally gonna look like expired fruit once I'm done with him. Uh, okay, look, this job is really stupid, so I don't feel like being part of this anymore. I'm just gonna go get a snack from the kitchen. Whatever, Iggy. Have fun siding with the stupid blue free. I'm not siding with him, Junior. I just don't think it makes sense to dwell on the issue. Anyways, I'll see you later. Huh. I don't know why Iggy doesn't see my side of things. I mean, I think I'm being reasonable. Oh my god, I hate that stupid blue rat, though. He's gonna get what he deserves. Hedgehog! Iggy, I don't care! I need a snack. I don't want to deal with Junior's drama. Uh, Alright, what do we have in the kitchen? Uh, Alright, what do we have in here? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, our pantry kind of sucks. Like, there's like all we have is old people food in here. <gasps> oh, Pringles! <gasps> and it comes with 350 free mine coins! Oh, it's gonna be so good! <laughs> Oh, who's at the door? I just wanted to get my mine coins. Uh, hello? Uh, who the heck are you? Uh, hey there. You might not know who I am, but it appears that me and your, I guess your brother, I know you look kind of similar, but it appears that me and your brother got into a little fumble earlier at Sonic, and I was wondering if I could come inside and talk with him about it, you know, just making sure that I can fix things. Well, wait, you're that guy that he's been talking about? Well, wait, how did you even find our house? Well, when you run as fast as me, it's kind of hard not to follow your car back home. <gasps> Oh, okay, that makes sense. And that's also really creepy, but wait, can you come inside and explain things first? Yeah, sure, I'm open for that. Just let me in. Uh, okay. What the heck is he doing here? Okay, kid, you sure he's in here? Yeah, you see that TV remote? He just murdered me with that like a second ago. He has to be in here. Okay, then, I'm gonna take your word for... What the hell? <laughs> take that, Sonic! <laughs> uh, what is happening here? <laughs> uh, 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 uh... Hey, Sonic. Little man, what are you doing? Yeah, and did you actually buy a figure of this guy just to beat him up? Uh, potentially. Look, it's this thing called Stretchy Sonic, which I think is kind of cool, you know? See, I can stretch him around, and I can do what I wish I could do to him in real life. Yeah, in case you can't tell already, he has major issues. I think he was dropped on his head. Oh, no, no, no. I've met tons of haters like this in my lifetime. Let me handle this. <clears throat> Okay, kid, so I understand that we kind of got off on the wrong foot at that restaurant earlier, but I'm willing to be your friend if you want to. I didn't really mean any of the things I said, I just said them out of anger. Huh, well, I mean, personally, me too. I don't think I have anything against you, I was just kind of mad at what you said. Yeah, ain't that the truth. So you're willing to put things behind us and be friends? I mean, do you really want to be friends, though? I mean, I'm open if you're open. W wait, th they're actually working something out? Well, to be honest... Sai, you made fun of my quill! You're gonna get it, kid! Well, never mind. <laughs> you bash my quills, I bash your life! <laughs> Ow, I should have known better. You're a lying snake, Sonic. Uh, I'm not a snake, I'm a hedgehog. I told you, Junior. You're gonna get it, kid. <laughs> no, Sonic, you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Is he stuck to the wall? I think he's in the wall. <laughs> you really forgot I have spiky quills? <laughs> I'm out. The blue! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sonic, <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> nope, you really think it's that easy? I'm not gonna stop until you know not to mess with a champion like me. You should know better. So, Junior, what happened to if he messes with me, he won't see the end of it? Oh, he actually said that now? Now why don't you taste these quills, buddy? Uh, Ow, oh, jeez, those things are sharp. Yeah, you bet they are. At least I actually have a secret weapon built into me, unlike you. Well, you are saying that to the person that has spikes all over their shell, so I don't think that's really valid. I mean, yeah, but look at those things. So rounded, barely sharp. You couldn't even hurt a fly with that. Now mine, oh my god, if I really wanted to, I could drill into your skull with these edges. You don't want to mess with me. Whoa, 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 okay, this battle's getting a little too serious, and we don't want an episode of Law & Order on our hands. So, I mean, the fight was kind of fun to watch, but I don't think a physical fight is going to do anything, guys. not going to solve anything. Well, what else do you expect us to do? I had to show this twerp who's boss. What, me? I'm the twerp? Look at your shoes. I mean, what are those? 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 What are those?
Are you calm down now? Yeah, I think so. Okay, anyways, instead of you guys having a physical fight, which isn't really gonna solve anything, maybe you guys should have, like, a little friendly competition instead. You know, like, see who's better at certain skills. Well, I think it's obvious that I'd be a lot better at everything. See, like, for example, if the task was to rip Sonic's arms off, you know, who can rip off arms better, then I, I could do that. I could, like, like, take this thing and, like, and, like, go like that, and y you see? See, I can do that. Yeah, I'm really sorry. My brother's a complete idiot. Oh, no, no, I completely agree with him. I don't see the point in a competition when the winner is so obvious. Oh, you want to bet on that, you smurf wannabe? Fine, $20 and I win this competition. $20. Okay, let's just get into it. You guys are arguing way too much. Okay, so you guys are going to go head-to-head -head in various different competitions. And the first game we're going to be playing is a game of Oh, no! The rules are really obvious here. Whoever wins the game of Uno wins a Point. Oh, this is gonna be so easy. I'm so good at Uno. You guys remember when I won Uno? Oh, it's so good. Oh, we'll see about that, little man. Oh my god, look at these blue cards. They look so beautiful. Oh, if only all these cards could be blue. That'd be awesome. They make the game way better. Uh, okay. Anyway, Junior, you go first. Oh, thanks, Iggy. Okay, so I get to choose how this game starts. What will I choose? Hmm. Well, my green skip card's looking pretty good right now, so BAM! Not your turn, Sonic! Seriously, is that even fair? How could you start out the game with a skip? <sighs> Sadly, it is fair, Sonic. I wish it wasn't. Junior, why did you have to do that on your first turn? Uh, because it was funny, obviously, and because Sonic is obviously gonna suck at this game, so why does it matter? Okay, now let me just choose my next card. Wait a minute. I don't have another card. There was no point in skipping him. Oh man, now I have to draw from the deck. That didn't do anything for me. <laughs> I told you, man, don't target the master. Well, hey, you're not any more of an Uno master than I am. And by that, I mean you're not an Uno master at all. Because you suck at this game. Yeah, I'm just going to draw from the deck now. Skip again. And Uno. Sorry, little man. Your 17 cards weren't enough to save you. Okay, can we please play a game that doesn't make me want to rip Sonic's head off? I mean, how do I go from winning every Uno game to finishing with 17 cards? Hey, man, he just beat you fair and square. That's one point to you, Sonic. All right, guys, next game. <sighs> this isn't over, Sonic. This isn't over. <sighs> what a sore loser. I can't believe he can't stand losing a simple- Whoa! <laughs> oh, 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 what the heck? Haha, <laughs> you deserve that. <sighs> Shut up already. All right, guys, so the next challenge you're gonna be doing is a scavenger hunt. Now, I lost my red Joy-Con somewhere around the house, and I'm gonna need one of you guys to find it. So, basically, you're too lazy to look for it yourself. Uh... Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, three, two, one, go! Oh, shoot! Uh, come on, Sonic, we have to go look for that- Well, I mean, uh, I have to go look for that Joy-Con. Oh, you really think these legs aren't gonna help me find it faster? I can run around this house in, like, five seconds, and I'm gonna do just that. Oh, God, I forgot about that! Okay, let's see, uh, is it in this closet? Uh, no, I don't see anything in there! Is it behind the TV? Oh, no, that's stupid! <gasps> Out the window! Wait, no, that's stupid too. Oh, where could this be? Oh, man, what a little nerd. Little does he know, despite him being a gamer, he somehow doesn't know how gamers work. Gamers always game on the go. So the bathroom is a perfect spot, because gamers would always game in the bathroom, even if they shouldn't be. Hmm, let's see. Where could this thing be? Is it in the sink? But, uh, no. <gasps> is it by the toothbrush? Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it's anywhere on this sink. Is it in the toilet? Oh, heck no, there's water in there. I don't want to get near that. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Okay, I have to find this toy con as soon as possible, because if Sonic finds it before me, it's going to be so embarrassing. Oh, my God, I have to find it. Okay, Iggy's an idiot. There's no way he lost a joy con that far. Okay, I have to find it. I have to find it. Uh, is it in the bed? Let's see. Is it? Is it in the... Uh, 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 oh, it actually is in the bed. Huh, so Iggy really is that stupid. Hey, Iggy, I found the Joy-Con! Oh, wait, you actually found it, Junior? Yep, I got it right here. Oh, phew, thank goodness. Oh, I thought I lost this puppy forever. Well, wait, so what was your Joy-Con doing in my bed? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, a one point to you, Junior. Let's go. Yes, let's go, Junior Nation! Another win for the books! Junior, don't say that again, okay? That was stupid. Alright guys, this time we're gonna play a little game of I Spy. I'm gonna look around the room and find an object, and if you can find it first, then you win. Hmm, yeah, that should be easy enough. Yeah, no competition there, but uh, how many rounds? We'll do three rounds. Okay, so I spy with my little eye something orange. Hmm. <gasps> Sonic shoes! Those are red, you f***ing idiot. Uh, uh, 
Oh. Well, hey, wait a minute. The, the bed frame. Uh, no, that's not orange. That's more like a beige type color, right? No, no, he's right. With the current temperature of the sun, it is a little orange. So we're giving Junior the point on this one. Yay, hey, take that, Sonic. <sighs> you don't deserve that point, especially after that first guess. What the heck was that? All right, round two, little man. Okay, round two time. I spy with my little eye something hard. Well, that's what she said. Okay, never mind. I spy with my little eye a stupid idiot. Boom, there, right there. I was just trying to make a comedic attempt at taking advantage of your poor wording. Bro, shut up. Just play normally. Okay, what's the actual prompt? <sighs> I spy with my little eye something blue. <gasps> Sonic! Well, hey, I said it first. Uh, no, obviously I said it first. <sighs> Neither of you said it first. Okay, I spy with my little eye something white. Uh, the door over there. Your parents' divorce papers. Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, Sonic gets the point in this one. Junior, that was really inappropriate. Okay, last but not least, I spy with my little eye uh, something that can tell the time. Well, uh, the sun. Junior, nobody uses the sun to tell the time anymore. Uh, it's that over there, the clock. Yep, Sonic wins best two out of three. What? Sonic, how did you win? Uh, because I have super Sonic sight, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that good? Sonic, I'm gonna drop a piano on your head if you make another joke like that. W what? I thought it was clever. Okay, next game. <sighs> yep, next game. All right, guys, who's ready for a soccer game? Oh, I'm so ready to get another soccer win. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. W wait a minute. Well, why does he have a jersey and not me? Uh, I don't know. Why didn't you bring your own jersey? I mean, he already had his own, so that's why. Yeah, Sonic, stop being such a sore, poopy loser and play me already. We already know how this is gonna turn out. Oh, you really think you're gonna beat me in something that requires energy and speed? Pff, oh, please. I can beat this even if I don't know how to play it. Oh, we'll see about that. All right, Iggy, when are we starting? Okay, so the rules are that tree right there counts as Sonic's goal, and that tree over there counts as Junior's goal, because I'm too lazy to set up the goals again. So, yeah, let's go in three, two, one, start! Go, go, Junior! Okay! Arr. Not a chance. Well, oh, I forgot about that! He's gonna be so good at this! Iggy, we really have to play this with Sonic? Yes, Junior, we have to play this to prove who's better at sports. Now, stop being a baby. Keep playing. <laughs> yeah, Junior, what you gonna do? Huh. Whoa, shoot! Uh, huh. ah, take that! Oh, well, that's nothing compared to my signature move. What? Yeah, well, what's your signature move? We don't know what that means. Oh, you're about to see what it means. I'm about to launch this ball straight to the moon, which means that it'll technically go past your goal. Oh. <laughs> So, winner, winner, chicken dinner, huh? Uh, no, Sonic, no. You were supposed to hit the tree, not launch it to a whole other planet. I'm giving Junior the win on this one. Sorry, dude, it's just the rules. But, but, but I went past the goal, though. Isn't that how you play? No, you're supposed to hit the goal. Soccer is stupid. God. Wait, so I actually won that round? I didn't even do anything. Yeah, but technically he didn't either. You're not supposed to launch the ball like that. All right, next activity. Okay, then, free win. Yay! Today, on the final challenge, these two contestants have specially prepared me these taquitos, which, Jesus, these things look like they exploded. What's wrong with them? Anyways, there's a secret ingredient in them of the contestant's choice, so I'm gonna choose which one is better. Up uh, first is Sonic's taquito, which is spiced with black pepper. Let's try this. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, it's so hot! W well, does it at least taste good? <gasps> I mean, I guess it's good, but I wasn't asking you to turn my mouth into a freaking volcano! Oh my god, oh my god! Okay. <sighs> oh my god! Okay. We're fine! We're fine, everyone. Okay. Now, we're gonna try Junior's taquito, which is spiced with paprika. I don't remember what that tastes like, so I guess I'll try it. Really, Sonic? Black pepper? Are you trying to kill him or something? Hey, man, it's not my fault that you guys have crappy intestines and can't compete against the Spice King. Mm -hmm. Wow, th that's actually a really good combination, Junior. How'd you come up with that? Well, you know, I just found some paprika in the fridge, and I thought I'd try it. Dude, you totally ripped me off. I mean, we both did spices, really? You're stupid. Wow, what a comeback, Junior. Anyways, time for the results. So, when it comes to overall spices, I'm gonna have to give this one to Sonic because Jesus Christ, he just almost burned my mouth right there. Haha, <laughs> the Spice King strikes again. 
but I will have to say, when it comes to overall taste, I'm gonna have to give this one to Junior, because honestly, his tasted better, and that was the whole point of this, so... Yeah, Junior wins 3-2! But wait, I won the challenges? Yeah, you sure did, Junior! Haha, <laughs> yeah, I told you, Sonic, I'm way better than you! W what but, but that's not fair! I mean, I had a spicier taquito! Yeah, but Sonic, he just said he's judging it on taste, not spice! But, but I never lose. The, the, there's no way I could have possibly lost. Well, Sonic, does this teach you anything? Yes, yeah, Sonic, does it finally teach you that you're a stupid failure? Well, no, no, it doesn't. But I think it does teach me that competition doesn't really matter. I mean, I've never really lost anything, so I guess I didn't really know what failure is like, but... I guess now I know that not everything has to be a competition. Yeah, that's exactly what the point of all this was. Huh, you've taught me a lot today, little man. I appreciate it. And same for you. I should probably go get my life together instead of fighting random kids. I'll see you guys some other time, if ever. Wow, we just made him have an existential crisis, didn't we? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we shattered his ego, and now he's going to rethink his life. Man, today's really been a day, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has been. Well, I guess we just gotta hope that he does change his life for the better. <laughs> oh my god, Iggy! I can't believe we actually snuck out the Sonic again! Oh, we're so crazy! Oh, we're such crazy rascals, aren't we, Iggy? Junior, why do you keep talking like that? Just talk normally! Oh, come on, Iggy! I'm just trying to spice up the mood! Alright, anyways, let me just order some food. Let me just... Uh, god, uh, oh my god! God, the thing is hard to reach. Thanks for using Sonic for this, Olivia. Hi. Uh, hey, can I get some, uh, chili cheese fries, please? Actually, I'll it for you. That'll be it, thank you. It's just for me and my brother. Everything looks correct. Uh, yeah, that looks correct. I mean, it's only one item. Okay, thank you. I can't wait to have these chili cheese fries. Junior, you didn't even ask me what I wanted. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, Iggy, what did you actually want? Well, no, I mean, I did want the chili cheese fries, but I just thought you were gonna ask me first. Iggy, that is the dumbest thing to complain about. I literally got you what you wanted, then. Here you guys go. Sorry for the long wait. Oh, the things I would do to eat this right now. You're lucky we're not enemies anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, no prop. W wait, S Sonic? What are you doing here? Oh, you didn't hear? Uh, I work at Sonic now. Did you really not see this coming? Uh, but, but I thought you hated Sonic, you know, because, like, they stole your branding and all that? No, no, man. We got it all figured out. We're good. Uh, well, that's good, I guess. So did you get a job here or what? Oh, no, I bought out the franchise. Wait, what? Yep, I bought out the whole chain. I mean, it turned out that this restaurant has been open since 1953, so my attempt at suing them didn't really work. But I was able to buy out the franchise because I have enough money. Uh, oh, well, well, that's cool, I guess. Yep, and it's all thanks to you, kid. Without you, I wouldn't have known that competition doesn't matter. So I got rid of the competition. Anyways, here's your chili cheese fries, and have a very merry day. I, I don't know what slogan they have here, but have a good day. Dude, what just happened? Uh, hey, Dad, why don't I have teeth? Whoa, 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 okay, slow down, guys. Why did you guys run in here like that? What's going on? Well, we made a groundbreaking discovery today. Do you want to tell them, Dad? Am I allowed to? If you must. Okay, guys, so we found out today that Junior has no teeth. Yes, he does, Bowser. You just can't see them. Well, we'll see. That's what I thought, too. But Junior, his teeth, they just, they just don't exist. They just, the, the, the teeth. It's just them being stupid again. Why don't we just give them a quick solution so that they leave? Well, guys, if you're so concerned about Junior's teeth, then why don't you, like, take him to the dentist or something? The dentist? Hmm, you know, that's not that bad of an idea. I mean, I think I could take Junior to the dentist. Yeah, they would know how to fix his teeth. Well, wait, what's a dentist? Uh, he's just joking, guys. Junior, come with me to the bathroom right now. Why? Why do I have to? Junior, come on! W wait a minute. Don't we technically not have teeth either? Why are they acting like this is unusual? I mean, we don't even have mouth. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was gonna bring that up, but they don't even have the IQ of a bookshelf, so it's not like they would understand it anyway. There's no point in convincing them. But Dad, what are you doing? Okay, Junior, so apparently I've raised you really poorly, so I'm gonna need to get you fixed up before we go to the dentist. Uh, okay, well, how are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, I kinda have to ask, have you ever brushed your teeth? Oh yeah, of course I have. Who doesn't? Okay, okay, thank God. Okay, that's a relief, but uh, uh, what do you use for your toothbrush and toothpaste? Uh, well, for my toothbrush, I use that green one over there. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, so he has a normal toothbrush. And what about your toothpaste? What do you use for toothpaste? Uh, for toothpaste, I use that blue and green thing over there. Oh, 
you use shaving cream as toothpaste? Well, yeah, why not? I mean, it's soft, it cleans your face, so it must clean your teeth, too. Oh my god. Okay, we have a lot to work on, Junior. Well, what's the issue, though? I've been using that my whole life. But that, Junior, that is the problem. You're not supposed to be using shaving cream as tooth... Oh my god, you're... I don't even understand how you're not, like, sick from putting all that stuff in your mouth. Oh my god, okay, Junior. Look, I'm gonna have to show you how to brush your teeth, okay? With actual toothpaste. So we're gonna be using actual toothpaste, and then I'm gonna make you use mouthwash, and then we're gonna be doing some flossing, okay? And then we'll go to the dentist. Oh, I don't wanna go to the dentist, this is stupid. But at least I already know how to do one of those, but I don't really know what has anything to do with this. Like, like, why are we flossing? Are you gonna make me hit the gritty too or something? Like, why are we bringing dancing into this? Is that the joke you guys are waiting for? The flossing joke? Cause, cause there it is. There's a joke right there. Okay, Junior, we got a lot to work on. Let's just get to it. <laughs> All right, Junior, let's just sit here until a worker comes and talks to us. Oh, okay, Dad. I don't really know if I want to be here, though. I feel like it's going to be scary. No, don't worry about it, Junior. The dentist isn't scary. The scariest part is the x-ray. Those lights get pretty bright. Well, what do you mean? How bright? Hello, welcome to Mushroom Kingdom Dental. How may I assist you guys? <gasps> it's you! You're the big light man! The, the light man? What? What is he talking about? I don't know. He's being kind of paranoid today. But look, I was just trying to take my son to the dentist because he's never really been there before, so I just kind of want to educate him. You know, show him what it's like. <gasps> oh, a first-timer? Okay, then. How old are you, little man? Uh, seven. Your kid is seven and he's never been to the dentist? Well, I don't know. I just forgot, I guess. Well, I guess it's better late than never, so I'll just go set up an appointment for you guys, okay? Okay, got it. Thank you, sir. Okay, Jerry, now remember what we talked about in the car, okay? Don't freak out once you're in there, okay? Uh, I'll try to, but not after what you told me. Ha, forget what I said, Jerry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, so, you like teeth, right? Dad, what is wrong with this guy? Uh, I don't know, Junior. Just ignore him, okay? Okay, I'll try to. <sighs> You, you didn't answer my question. You like teeth, right? You, you you do? Dude, what is your problem? And what are you even doing here? You don't even have a mouth. Uh, oh, I, I come here sometimes to, to, to hang out and yeah. Hang out? With who? There's nobody here. I like to hang out with... Oh, what teeth? Bowser Jr., you're up. Okay, Junior, you better go now. You don't want to be around this guy any longer, do you? No, no, I really don't. But I don't want to be around the dentist either. It's going to be too scary. Come on, Junior. I brought you all the way out here. You have to go. Next patient, Bowser Jr., are you there? Junior, come on. <laughs> okay, Dad. All right, guys. I'll see you on the other side. Dude, it's just a dentist appointment. <laughs> oh, no. It's a lot more than a dentist appointment. It's... It's my life. Why'd you go? I wanted to have a civil discussion about teeth. Yup, I don't regret my decision. D Junior? What are you doing behind that wall? <gasps> well, uh, I have a uh, fear of rooms. Uh, dude, I don't know, okay? I'm just really scared. <laughs> oh, come on, Junior. There's nothing to be afraid of. Anyways, welcome to my dental office. Why don't you have a seat right over there? Uh, okay, Chris Hansen. You don't have to say it like that. Uh, so, this is the dentist, huh? Oh, man. This is the last place I wanted to be here today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can handle it. Oh, come on, Junior. What did I tell you? It's going to be fine. You're safe with me. Look, I'm gonna try to make this the best experience for you as possible. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, Mr. Dentist guy, am I gonna be here forever? Oh yes, you bet you're gonna be here forever. Now why don't you stay down and shut up and let's cut into that little scalp of yours and see what yummy things we can find. Oh my god. <sighs> What? What's wrong, kid? Uh, I don't know, okay? I don't think my mind's right today. I don't think I should be here. Oh, nonsense. It'll be fine. Now, look, I'll tell you what we're doing today. So, basically, whenever kids come in for a checkup, you know, because you're just doing a little routine checkup. We usually just check up on their teeth, their gums, you know, just make sure everything's clean. And maybe we do some x-rays. And before you know it, you're out of here. See, being at the dentist isn't so bad. But what about the part where you cut open my scalp and you eat my brain? That doesn't happen. I don't know where you heard that, but no, no, we don't do that. We just check up on your teeth. Oh, okay. That sounds a little better, but it doesn't really sound that much better. I don't want a random guy touching my teeth. Get away from me. Junior, every kid does this. It'll be fine. Now, let's just check up on your teeth. 
Uh, uh, Junior? Yeah? Uh, can you open your mouth for me, please? My mouth is open. I'm showing you my mouth. Well, uh, do you really have no teeth? Well, yeah, I have teeth. What do you mean? Well, I can't see them, Junior. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't see my teeth from the outside. Well, if you don't have teeth, then I can't really work with you. I don't know why your dad brought you here if you don't have any teeth. Yeah, I don't know why my dad brought me here either. It's almost like I didn't really want to go to hell on earth today, but he insisted. <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is I can't work with you, okay? You don't have any visible teeth, so there's nothing we can do, okay? We only work with teeth. Why do you care about teeth so much? <gasps> is that like your secret thing? You guys are into teeth? Well, don't get out of here. What are you talking about? Okay, okay. I'm just saying it's kind of weird. <laughs> you know, you, I'll, I'll just I'll just get out of here. Make sure you come back once your teeth are fully grown. Huh. Well, now that he's gone, man, this stuff tastes good. <laughs> okay, Dad. The dentist said that I have to go home now. Well, go home? Well, you finished already? Uh, oh no! Don't tell me you snuck out of the appointment, Junior. No, but I can't say I didn't have that idea. He said he can't work on me because I don't have any teeth. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, he said he can't work on me. Uh, oh, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Okay, then, Junior, we're gonna get you home, and we're gonna get your teeth all grown out. I'm gonna look like a vampire. Okay, Dad, so how are we gonna grow my teeth out to be big and strong? Well, Junior, I decided to hook you up with some of the healthiest things I could find. You know, this is the outcome I was expecting, but I still don't like it. Dad, I don't want to eat all this healthy stuff. This is gross. And, and why is there milk here? Come on, Junior. This was obvious. You need the healthy stuff because, you know, it's healthy for you. So, you know, like eating all that junk food is going to rot your teeth. And about the milk, I don't know. I saw some commercial on TV that said milk gives you strong bones. So, like, I mean, your, your teeth are kind of like bones. So, I, I, I don't know. I think it's going to help you. Hmm, if you insist. So, you're sure this is the only option, Dad? I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like looking up any other one. I'm too lazy. <sighs> okay. All right. I guess I'll follow your advice, Dad. I guess I'll just eat this healthy stuff. I have to eat lettuce by itself? Dude, I don't know. I just grabbed this stuff in the fridge. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, yeah, there you go, Junior, there you go. And in a few short weeks, his teeth should be all grown out. How you liking that apple, Junior? <laughs> not that much, Dad. I mean, it's not that it tastes bad, but just the thought that it's healthy is making it bad. Oh, uh, you'll get over it. <sighs> Teenagers these days, they're so silly. Okay, Junior, I already checked you out at the front desk, so you can just have a seat wherever. Okay, thanks, Dad. All right, let's just have a seat right over here. <sighs> so... You don't want to talk about teeth? Dude, why are you still here? Next patient, Bowser Jr. Oh, thank God. Why are my friends so mean? Whew, man. I never thought I'd see this place again. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, I'll let you decide. Anyways, I'm ready for my dental appointment. I guess. I'm still a little scared, but I'll try to make it through. Well, I mean, that's a better answer than last time, so all right. Let's check out those teeth. Whoa, whoa, jeez. I, I don't know if I've seen anything like this before, but, whew, man, this is gonna be a lot to work on. What, what's wrong? Is it my hair? I was planning on getting a haircut anyway, so I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, sure, it's your hair, apparently. You really don't know what's wrong? Uh, no, not really. <sighs> okay, okay, that's fine. We can just, we can just try to work with this. Well, what do you mean? What are you gonna do? Don't worry, nothing crazy's going on. We're just gonna do the usual checkup, but, Oh, man, it's gonna take a miracle to fix those, but I'll try my best, okay? Uh, okay, that wasn't really that specific, so now I'm even more worried! <sighs> I mean, I guess it could be worse. This probably isn't the worst case I'm gonna deal with in my career, so I just really gotta hope that this stuff helps him. Okay, time for a checkup. <laughs> uh, this is scary, and nothing's even happened yet! How is that even possible? <sighs> You're really still doing this from last time? But look, I already told you what we're gonna do, okay? You have nothing to worry about. Wait, are you wearing a mask on your mask? Wait, what are you doing? I'm just cleaning the dirty stuff off your teeth. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Is it gonna hurt? Well, does it hurt right now? No, not really. Well, then there's your answer. What kind of question is that? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just nervous. I'm trying to make small talk, okay? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I should probably make some small talk, too. Uh... So, what's your favorite sports team? I don't have a favorite sports team. Uh, uh, oh, well, what's your favorite TV show? I don't have a favorite TV show. Uh, uh, oh, well, what's your favorite sport? I don't have a favorite sport. Okay, then what is there about you? Uh, well, recently I've been getting into this game called Wizard 101. Okay, the way you said that really sounded like a sponsorship, but okay, cool. What do you do in that game? I don't know. 
Well, let's just let's just get back to the procedure, okay? Okay, okay. Hmm. Mm, yummy brain. Yummy, yummy. You like the sizzling sound? You like the sound of the sizzling grill when I put your brain on it? Ah, don't barbecue my brain! Get that thing away from me! Bro, what is your problem? We haven't even done anything yet. This is literally the first step. Well, wait, so you didn't say something about grilling my brain? <sighs> it really is one of those days, isn't it? Okay, okay. I guess I have to roll out the big guns. What? What does that mean? What does the big guns mean? I don't like the sound of that. Look, kid, this is the television. It plays TV shows. Now, what do you want to watch, okay? Hopefully, this will distract you. Well, I want TV. Well, that's nice of him. Okay, let's see. What do I want to watch before I get brutally murdered by this guy? Hmm. Oh, can you put on the show that my dad was watching last night? He was making really weird noises while watching it. N no, what is wrong with you? I'm not doing that. I'll just put on whatever Kids Network is on today. Can you turn this off, please? Y yeah, I was thinking that, too. Ugh, man, we get some weird kids shows nowadays, don't we? Yeah, that be the truth. Society be a weird place nowadays. Anyways, what are we doing now? Well, we're still on procedure one, because you didn't really let me finish. You just kind of spazzed out on me. So, why don't we finish procedure one and get it over with, and then we can move on to the next step, okay? Aw, okay. I guess I can agree to that. I don't really want to agree to it, though, because I have to agree to it. I don't really want to. Uh, okay. Okay, let's just finish procedure one, okay? Alright, got it. Go. What? Nothing. Okay. Well, that was kind of a scary scream. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Okay. What? Nothing, nothing. I didn't do anything. What? Yes, you should. Okay. Let's do this. You probably said I could scream. Now I won't scream. Okay. I mean, I didn't scream in the first place, but. Yeah, you. Okay. Let's just. Okay, okay, no, no, I'm not doing this, okay? Procedure two time, procedure two time. Or or you can do that on your own, I don't care. Just procedure two. Wait, what did I do wrong? You know what you did wrong. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. I'm a silly little troller. Look at me, guys. This is the face of a silly troller. Yep, that's me. <sighs> Man, this has to be one of the hardest patients I've ever dealt with. I mean, cleaning plaque off the teeth is apparently too much. That's only procedure one. Every kid can do that. <sighs> okay, whatever. Time for procedure two. Okay, Junior, so for procedure two, we're gonna be- Why do you look like Harry Potter? Okay, for procedure two, we're gonna be basically doing the same thing with the plaque stuff, but I'm gonna be using this light. Now, I'm telling you ahead of time because I feel like you're a baby and you're gonna freak out about it. So, I had to make it a whole separate procedure just for the light, okay? Uh, okay, that sounds fine with me. Oh, no. The, the light, it, it tried to kill me. Yes, yes, I remember it now. Do, 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 do. I am minding my own business. <gasps> oh my gosh. W what is that thing up in the sky? Hmm, wait a second. For some reason, this kind of feels like a bad idea. Ah! Oh man, you're not gonna get me this time, Light. You're not gonna get me this time. Dude, what are you doing? You keep on getting distracted by the most little things. Now look, I'm gonna turn this light on, okay? I'm gonna turn it on in three, two, one. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That is the brightest thing I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> Kid, this is getting really old. Now let's just work on your teeth, okay? Okay, now let's do this. Well, okay. Uh, are you sure you're not gonna stick that needle down my throat? No, no, I'm not gonna do anything like that. That's stupid. I don't know where you're hearing this stuff. I, I hear it from a lot of uh, high school movies. Why would a high school movie be about a dentist? I don't know. Okay. This is really awkward. We need the small talk back. Uh, so, kid, where do you go to school at? Uh, well, I'm not really at school right now. It's a summer vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So how's your summer vacation going now? Uh, dude, my mouth is open. I can't really talk. What's that? I couldn't really understand that. Sorry. Dude, I said it! Uh, uh, okay, you know what? Whatever. Just keep working on my teeth or something. Okay, okay. I get you. No small talk. I'm just getting a little bit of the right side there. And I think we're almost done. Wait, really? Are you sure? Are you completely sure? <laughs> Yep, we're almost done with procedure two. Oh, I thought you meant the general. <laughs> nope, we still got a lot to work on before that happens. Okay, now let's just clean up a little more off the right tooth right there. Ow! Oh, that's my sweet tooth. I eat all my bad stuff on that side. Can you stop touching it? Y yeah, I don't really trust you now. You cried wolf too much, so I don't really believe anything hurts you. 
Okay, almost done there. Hey, I have a question. Have you ever considered braces? L no, I only have two teeth. How would braces even work on me? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sue you for even making me imagine that. Oh, relax, buddy. Braces aren't anything to be ashamed of. A lot of normal people get braces. I mean, I had braces when I was your age. Yeah, and now you mask your whole face off. So what does that say about you? Uh, you know what? That That's actually a completely fair point. J Jesus, you are a menace. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm just calling it how I see it. Anyways, when is procedure three? Well, from the looks of it, I've cleaned up all the plaque I could, so I think it is time for procedure three. So, all right, no more of this. All right, procedure three time. Oh, sweet. All right, then. What are we doing now? Well, it's funny you say sweet, because this is the part where you wash your mouth out with this thing, and you get to choose the flavor. So, which flavor do you prefer? Cherry, cotton candy, or grape? Uh, what if I don't want any of those? Oh! Well, what about cookies and cream? Do you guys have that? Oh, that'd be so yummy. Uh, n no, I don't think they make cookies and cream for this thing. That's kind of a weird and specific flavor. Look, just choose one of the three, okay? Cherry, cotton candy, or grape. Aw, okay. Hmm. Oh, what about mint chocolate chip? Choose one of the three. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, uh, cherry, cotton candy, or grape. I'm gonna go with cotton candy. Okay, cotton candy it is. Open wide, kid. Okay, alright, I got my mouth open. So, uh, what type of cotton candy is this anyway? Like, is it blue, or is it red, or is Here it- Here we go! Ah, <laughs> 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 yes. Consume it all. And you know what? I changed the flavor from cotton candy to toxic waste. Talk about a prank! <laughs> 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 okay, that's enough. Oh, man, kid, you are a big baby, okay? I don't know what's wrong with you, but, oh my god, you're even stressing me out. Mm, oh, what happened? Where am I in heaven? Where am I? No, but I think you'll be pretty happy to hear this. You're on procedure four, the final step. So the last thing we have to do is use this x-ray camera and take some pictures of you, and then that'll be it. Wait, you want to take pictures of me? Well, ew, you weirdo. I'm not letting you do that. What? No, it's not like that. Ugh, okay, look, just get over here, get in front of the camera, and I need to take some x-ray pictures of you, okay? Okay, okay, whatever helps you sleep at night. So, uh, what do I do here? Well, we're gonna take the pictures now. Okay, so time for picture one. Ow, ow, Jesus, what are you trying to do, blind me? No, kid, I'm not trying to blind you, just trying to take some pictures of your teeth. Okay, now we need one more, so just stand on your side like this. Uh, stand on my side? Well, okay then. Kid, you know what I mean, not your literal side. Aw, I thought you were gonna laugh or something. I wanted to lighten up the mood. Yeah, well, this appointment's kind of gone on a bit too long for me to want to smile about anything. Okay, no, okay, you're on your side, and second picture. <laughs> Ow! Uh, well, at least it was only in one eye that time. So what now? Are we done? Uh, almost. I just gotta go look at the pictures on the computer and see how they look. Oh, oh, oh my god, jeez, these have to be the weirdest pictures I've ever seen, but I, I can't tell them that though, but oh my god, well, uh, yep, looking great. Hey, thanks, man, I appreciate it, you're looking great too, you know? Uh, y yeah, anyways, Junior, you're basically done, so I got a goodie bag right over here, and it's got some flosses and some mouthwash in it, now make sure you use this stuff every day, or else this appointment would have been completely useless, and also make sure you brush your teeth every day. Day. And within a few short weeks, your teeth should be right back to where they should be. But I didn't have any teeth before. Is that what you're saying? N no, Junior. I'm saying this should be pearly and white, okay? Pearly and white. Remember that. Pearly and white. <laughs> pearly and white. Pearly and white. Okay, thanks, Mr. Dental Man. No problem, Junior. Come back anytime. Uh, oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm finally done. Oh, that had to have been the longest appointment I've ever had. Oh, I wish I could just clock out right now. I'm so tired. What time is it? What? 10 a.m.? Uh, oh. Alright, Dad, we finished the appointment, so I'm just gonna meet you in the car, okay? Uh, okay, Junior. I'll meet you there, too. Thank you. Oh, my God. I can't do this anymore. Teeth fact number 43. Depending on what you eat, they can be different colors. They can be, like, like blue. If you, if, if you drink a, where, where are you going? I was gonna tell you the other 198 teeth facts. Oh, man. Why does anyone wanna listen to my teeth stuff? <laughs> oh my 
god. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, I finally did it. Oh, I got it. Uh, hey, Bowser, what'd you get? Oh, I got the coolest thing ever. Oh, you guys are gonna be so jealous. Well, not really, because you guys are part of it. Oh, my god, it's so cool. Dude, just tell us what it is. You're kind of dragging this. Okay, okay. All right, so, guys, I got us plane tickets for a vacation. Oh, cool, a vacation? I wasn't planning on that. Matthew, neither of us were planning on that. We don't have any plans to begin with. We're an open book. Yeah, I was about to get to that. I have time for a vacation. Where are we going? Well, that's the thing. Uh, I can't tell you guys. It's a secret. Uh, why is it a secret? Yeah, and why would we even go if we don't know where we're going? Guys, I really can't tell you where we're going, or else I'd spoil the surprise. Mm, yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's nice of Bowser to take us on a surprise vacation. So, who else is going with us? Well, here's the roster. It's me, you, Luigi, Yoshi, Iggy, Koopa... And Junior! J Junior, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, nothing, Dad, nothing, nothing. I'm not doing anything. Huh? J Junior, are you hiding something from me? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not hiding anything from you, Dad. I promise. Okay, so can you tell me what you were doing behind the bed? Uh, n no. Yeah, see, that's why I don't believe you. Just show me what's behind the bed, Junior. Uh, uh okay, Dad. But you have to promise not to get mad. J Junior, I can't promise anything unless I know what it is. Okay, I, I guess that that's fair. That makes sense. Okay, uh, I'll show you, Dad. <laughs> All right, Dad, here's what was behind the bed. Oh, please don't be mad. <sighs> what was I even expecting? Junior, it's just a controller. What could possibly be the issue? Uh, J Junior, why isn't it turning on? Uh, no habla inglés? Junior, did you do something to the controller or not? Uh, well, you see, it's a really easy explanation, you know? Junior, it's a yes or no question. Did you break the controller or not? Uh, well, g kinda. I, I was just playing some Terraria, and then I died to, to, to the blood of Cthulhu, or whatever the thing is called, and I got kind of upset, and then I threw it at the TV. I don't know how I didn't break the TV, so I'm I broke the controller first. Uh, you broke the controller over Terraria? Wait, th that's what you're mad about? Well, I'm a little mad over the controller itself being broken, but who the hell rages at Terraria? Oh my god, Junior, you are so reckless. How do I even punish you for this? Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I if you want to ground me for this, then y you can. I completely understand. Mm, nah, I think I have a better idea. Oh, man, it's a good thing you did this today. You can't come on the vacation with us. Wait, what? What vacation? Well, I was coming in here to tell you about this secret vacation we're all going on, but I guess you can't come now. Well, I want to go on the vacation. Where is it? Oh, don't even bother with that question, Junior. He's not even telling us. He really means it when he says secret vacation. But, uh, Bowser, don't you think it's a little harsh to cut Junior out of the vacation he didn't even know about? Yeah, you should probably come up with a different punishment. I mean, how long is this vacation supposed to be? Oh, it's gonna be about two weeks. Yep, there's the issue right there. You're not gonna leave Junior home alone for two weeks, are you? Hmm, I guess that wouldn't be the safest option. Well, Junior, I guess it really is good that you did this today. You still get to go on the vacation you don't really deserve to go on. Yay! This is awesome! Oh, wait, you still have to be punished, though. Let's see, how could I punish you? <gasps> oh, that's right! I have an idea! No, you can't drop him off at the dog kennel again, either. Dang it! Hmm... <gasps> I have a new idea! Alright, come with me, Whoa, Junior! Oh, no, let go of me, Dad! Why are you holding me like that? I get the feeling that Bowser probably needs to be investigated. Yeah, he's got some really weird parenting techniques. No, Dad, please let me go! Why are you kidding <laughs> <laughs> All right, Junior, since you can't function like a normal person and break things for good reason, now you have to sleep in the garage. You have to spend the night in the garage until you know how to act. Uh, stupid dad, him and all his dumb rules and his meanness. God, I hate it. <laughs> God, I hate it! Okay, guys, I put Junior to bed, so we should be all good for tomorrow. Uh, where exactly did you take him, Bowser? Whoa, I took him to the garage to spend the night. Bowser, that place is full of spiders. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, it's not my fault he can't behave like a normal human being. He's not even a human being, you idiot! Oh, my God, Bowser, you need some counseling. Whatever, man, stop hating. Oh, my God. 
Anyways, our flight is tomorrow at 7 a.m., so we should probably get some shed eye before then. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Bowser. All right, man, yo, let's go to sleep and find out whatever this mystery vacation is. I think I just made a mystery in my pants. Ugh. Ugh. I guess I could sleep here or something. It's a soft surface. It could work. I just don't get it. How did I possibly get stuck in a family like this? I'm constantly being mistreated by everyone around me. And when do I have a say in it, huh? When does junior side come into play? You know, sometimes, sometimes it just makes me wish that I never had a family to begin with! everybody huh you know sleeping in the garage wasn't that bad i mean it's quiet there's this fuzzy blanket here oh, the blanket really saved me <gasps> i almost forgot the vacation uh, do, 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 vacation time vacation time i get to go on vacation yeah yeah let's go see the world on my vacation Gee, sure is boring around here. Uh, it's unnaturally quiet for a day of departure. Where is everyone? Mario? L Luigi? Dad? Dad! I Iggy? I Iggy! I Yoshi? Huh, this place is completely vacant. And for some reason, I know how to use big words. What's the occasion? <gasps> Wait, did they d disappear? N no, N no, they couldn't have. Yeah, that can't be the case. Wishes don't come true. But I thought they were supposed to go on that vacation this morning. D did they leave without me? That would be really rude of them. But regardless, I guess I have the house to myself. And if they're gone on that vacation, then... I have the whole house to myself for two weeks! Oh yeah! I'm gonna go make the most of this! Alright! I'm home alone! I get to do whatever I want! Whenever I want! I could drink all the Kool-Aid jammers if I wanted to! He also doesn't let me play rock ball in the house! Uh, uh, okay, maybe it's for a good reason. I can play all the games I want and nobody's here to tell me what to do! I can also watch whatever shows I want! Oh, he's never let me watch this one! Oh, finally! Ball down the stairs! <laughs> oh man, for some reason that was so exhilarating! Oh man, there's so much to do! I'm never gonna get tired of this! Huh, you know, somehow I already got bored of it. Isn't there anything else to do in this old house? I mean, for some reason I already feel like I've done everything. <gasps> Wait a minute, I just realized, there's a whole other world out there! Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go outside and find more things to do! Oh my god, they never let me go wherever I want! Now is my chance! <laughs> ah, yeah, outside time! Uh, hey guys, I'm a stick. Oh yeah, well, well I'm an even bigger stick. <laughs> oh yeah, you got that right, you're finished. This section smells like grass. And this section also smells like grass. I wonder if I could sneak into the pool. All right, let's try it. No way. Ball outside. Awesome. Okay, here goes nothing. Again, I don't know why that was fun, but for some reason it really was fun. Oh man, I love being by myself. I wish I could be outside forever. Well, guys, welcome to Lake Bowser! Lake Bowser? What's that supposed to mean? What do you think it means, Luigi? It's my lake. You know, I kind of doubt that you own this place, Bowser. Yeah, I feel like you would have talked about it if you did. Also, why take us to a lake when it's cold? Ah, you guys are whiners. Come on, let's go sit by the shore. I don't know if I want to get in that water. He didn't say get in it, he said get by it. I'm gonna go sit with him. Maddie, uh, uh, okay, fine. 
Ah, man, this place is comfy. So how exactly can you prove to us that you actually own this place? Yeah, you don't really seem smart enough to own land. Oh, come on, guys. Why can't you just trust me? I do own this place. Here, here, let me prove it to you. You want to go fishing in my lake? Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Well, let's go fishing, guys. Let's go fishing. Okay, so we got this bait here. We're about to go fishing. Uh, uh, oh, man, it didn't work. Okay, I got to throw the whole rod in. Uh, all right, go catch it, fishies! Okay, that's all the proof we need that you don't own this place. Yeah, you're not making any sense, Bowser, but we appreciate you taking us here anyway. You just didn't have to lie about it. But guys! Uh, I guess I'm just gonna chill by myself then. Hey, Junior, fetch me another stick. J Junior? Junior, that's a demand! Junior! After all that trouble yesterday, you at least owe me this! Junior! G guys? Where is Junior? He's not answering me! Uh, I don't think he's here. What do you mean he's not here? How can he not be here? We all came here together! I think he means what he said, Bowser. I don't think Junior came with us. Uh, well, I guess he's not here with us at the lake. So that means uh, he stayed back at the hotel! Uh, he always does that! Typical, never wants to be part of anything. Just wants to sit back at home and play his video games. And oh my god. No, like, I'm pretty sure he didn't come with us on the trip at all. Yeah, I don't remember him being on the plane with us. I don't even remember him being at home. <gasps> oh my god, Bowser, you left him in the garage. I put him in the garage? <gasps> oh yeah, that's right. I did leave him in the garage. Oh my god, he must still be in there. Oh my god, he's at home. He's home alone. <laughs> oh my god, we left Junior at home. Oh, who knows what he could be up to right now. <laughs> calm down, Bowser, calm down. I'm sure he's fine. I mean, it's only been like a day, right? But we should probably still go and get him. Yeah, somebody has to go back and get him. Who is it gonna be? Well, I can't really fly back by myself. I'm too young to know how to. I have too much luggage. If I go back, then I'm gonna have to bring all that stuff to and from and oh, whatever. I just don't feel like doing it. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing it either. How kind of excuse is that? Bro, I just wanna go on vacation, okay? We never go on vacation. Yeah, Koopa's got a point. I just wanna sit back and relax. So, uh, Mario and Luigi, can you guys go back? Uh, really? I mean, I guess we do travel the most out of everyone, so... I mean, you know, we won't really miss out on much. Yeah, and the vacation's two weeks long. We're not gonna miss out on much. We just have to fly back home, get Junior, and then come back here. It'll only take, like, I don't know, a day? Yeah, we can do it. Don't worry, Bowser. We've got your back. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Now go get him, Tiger. Uh, actually, I'm a human. J just go get him. Okay, okay. Come on, Mario. We've got the quest to complete. <laughs> yes, we do, Luigi. Oh, man. I hope Junior's doing all right at home. Home alone at night! Whoa! First night alone! First night alone! <laughs> Let's climb up the Christmas tree! <laughs> 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 <gasps> oh no, the giant enemy spider! Ha, take this! Ha. Oh no, he's invincible! Woo! 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 Well, I'm bored again. Hey, you the pizza here! Hey, you got my pizza? I do have your pizza. One big old cheese? That would be it. Thank you very much. Hey, of course. That'll be 1720. Okay, J jerk. Oh my god, the nerve of these people. Um, oh man, this pizza's good. I probably should have gotten more than just cheese on it. But pizza's pizza. I'll take what I can get. Oh man, that stuff's good. Oh, I think it goes so great with my Kool-Aid jammers. Oh, we have the best snacks around here. But it kind of feels like something's still missing though. How could something be missing? I just get the feeling. Oh, I know! My dad never lets me do this whenever he's home. Okay, time to listen to some tunes. <sighs> Alright, Luigi, we're finally back home. <clears throat> yeah, alright, now let's go get Junior. Our flight back is in an hour. Sounds good. Alright, now let's go inside. Alright, now let's just... What the... Uh... Luigi, the door's not opening. Well, yeah, obviously it's locked. We locked it before we left. <gasps> oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, well, let's just get the keys out. Uh, Luigi, I don't feel the keys in my pocket. Do you have them? No, I don't feel them in mine either. D do we even have the house keys at all? Oh, my God, we forgot to ask Bowser for the keys. 
well, I guess we have no choice but to ask Junior to let us in. All right, Luigi, start ringing the doorbell. But, but you're already knocking the door. Yeah, but kids never hear the door knock. They only hear the doorbell for some reason. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hello? I guess he must be busy with something. Here, I'll try calling his phone. All right, good call, Matthew. Let's <laughs> see what I did there. <sighs> okay, come on, come on, Junior. I know you at least have your phone on you. What the heck? How did my phone just move by itself? Oh, wait, I must be getting a phone call and it must have been shaking. Okay. Okay, let me just pause this music, and let's go see who called me. Okay, let's see who's calling me. Wait, what? M Mario? Why would Mario be calling me? He's probably just calling me to flex that he's on the vacation, and I'm not! I'm not gonna answer that then. I don't want your bragging face in my face. Let me just get back to my music and my pizza. He's not answering his phone either! Do you think he's home at all? Yes, of course he's home, Luigi. Where else does he have to go? He doesn't have any friends. What else do we do? Hmm, well, if you insist he's home, then we could try knocking on his window. Yeah, but his window's upstairs. How are we gonna do that? By throwing rocks at his window like a crazy ex-boyfriend? It's not really that foreign of a concept, Matthew. Huh, not a bad idea, Luigi. I'm not sure why you know that, but not a bad idea. Let's go try it. Sure, let's go do it. Hmm, okay, so if we precisely throw this rock at an 85 degree angle, then we have a possible chance of hitting- <laughs> Wow, that actually hit? What was that? Why do I keep getting all these interruptions? Huh, doesn't seem like I got his attention. Now try throwing another one. You got it. Uh, hello? It's probably just a stupid fly. For some reason, whenever flies fly by the window, it always sounds like a... Uh, okay, that was definitely intentional. Uh, I think somebody's here. <laughs> You know, let me take one of these with me. Ah! Come on, get in the closet, Junior! Get in! <sighs> it's... It's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We'll be safe in here. Uh... What should I call you? Jammer... J jam... J J James! Oh, I can call you James! Yeah, because you're a jammer. <laughs> We'll be fine. Okay, as good as your plan sounded, I don't think this is gonna work on him. Yeah, he probably thinks we're crazy people. Or robbers. Either one. <gasps> Luigi, that's it! That's what we gotta do! What? Be crazy? We already are. No, I'm saying we gotta become robbers! What? How are we gonna rob our own house? Look, it's clear that Junior's not gonna let us in as is, so the only way that we can get in is by breaking in. But if he hears us breaking in, he's probably gonna call the police anyway, so I think it'd make a lot more sense if we were robbers than if we were people that lived in the house, because, you know, he's gonna ask, like, why are you breaking into your own house, you know? It just makes more sense to be in character. That is insanely ridiculous and probably gonna make us late to our flight, but I don't care. It sounds kind of fun, too. Exactly! You got the right idea, Louis! So, how do we pretend to be robbers? Well, firstly, we're gonna need some ski masks, but what are we gonna get those? Well, we don't have time to go to the store for some, so we're gonna have to find something around here to make one with. <gasps> oh, I think I found it! Luigi, we can use this! You use what? What'd you find, Matthew? Matthew, what are these? They're gloves. For some reason, there was this huge box of gloves out there, so figured I'd use them. Th these are gloves? They're huge! Okay, I think the bigger issue is that the masks have fingers for some reason. Anyways, we need to rob this house. Aw, I'm gonna look ridiculous. You're gonna look ridiculous anyway. We're literally robbing our own house. I guess you're right. Okay, so what's next? Uh, okay, so we need to come up with fake names for each other. Right, I'll be Tony Hawk. No, you're not using that name, Luigi. If you tell the police that name, then you're gonna get in a lot of trouble, and so is the actual Tony Hawk. You're gonna come up with something fictional. Aww, okay. Hmm, what about Nightwalker? Okay, that works. I'll be Captain Crunch. What? Hey, no fair! You said not to use real names! <sighs> Anyways, Luigi, the next step is that we need to find a way to get into the house. Yeah, you're right. We spent enough time setting this up. Now we just have to figure out how to actually put the plan into action. <laughs> I'm sorry, James, but I should probably find something better to do. I mean, if there really are robbers around the house, then what is Cowering Away gonna do? I need a plan. Hmm. <gasps> oh, I know! Okay, so I can set up traps all around the house so that whoever's trying to break in will get what's coming to them. Ha, <laughs> Junior, you're so smart! Ah, okay, so I have limited time to set up all these traps. Gotta make them count. Okay, every trap's been set up! 
Now all I have to do is put this walkie-talkie here so I can speak directly to the robber. Okay, everything's ready. Now it's go time. Listen up, robbers. There are traps all around the house. So if you want to reach me, you're going to have a price to pay. Now, I recommend you don't try to come in in the first place. But I'm up for humiliating some fools tonight. So try me if you dare. I guarantee you won't last five minutes in here. Anyways, good luck. <sighs> well, this is going to be harder than we thought. I guess so. He really is convinced that we're robbers. Hey, that means that this guy's work. No, I doubt he's seen us. I'm pretty sure he just heard all the other things we did and made a connection. Oh, they're not gonna like that one. <laughs> okay, now all I have to do is lock the door so they can't get in, and I can listen in from the door to know when each trap goes off. Anyways, how are we gonna get into this house? Well, why don't we just use the spare key under the mat? <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> he hasn't had much time to steal that back. All right, Luigi, let's get it. Oh, look at me. I set up traps around the house. <laughs> As if, you're not smart enough to. And there's the spare key. All right, let's get it. <sighs> Got it. All right, Luigi, let's shut down this operation early. <laughs> oh my God, Junior is such an imbecile. Right? I can't believe you forgot the simplest thing. All right, now let's just get it. Let's just... Wait, what? Luigi, this key doesn't fit. What? Uh, you showed us a spare key? Yeah, it's just a spare key, Luigi. It's the only one under there. And I mean, it looks like the spare key, but for some reason, it's just, it's not going in. It doesn't fit. That's really weird. How would he have time to set that up? He did. We've been out here the whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Luigi, where's that noise coming from? Uh, it kind of sounds like it's coming from the key. Oh, how, how could that be possible, Luigi? Keys don't make noise. <laughs> Was that Luigi? I don't know. Did the key just explode? I don't know. I don't think so. How would that even be possible? Whoa! Sounds like you went through a blast, huh? Oh man, the exploding key. <laughs> Classic. You know that wasn't even part of this plan. I set that one up like a month ago. <sighs> Glad it finally came into play. How do you even do that? I don't know, but during that whole exchange, I kind of remembered something. You know that window that we always leave unlocked? I'm sure I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Why don't we just do that in the first place? All right, let's sneak in. Okie dokie. All right, let me just get this open. <sighs> All right, Mario, ladies first. Very clever. All right, Luigi, I'm in. Your turn. Okay. Oh, my God. This is going to be so fun. <laughs> Oh, Luigi, watch out! What? <gasps> oh, man, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but Jesus. Wow, get flattened! Oh my god, and that's not even all. I have plenty more traps up my sleeve. You need some help there, Luigi? Yes, yes, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, okay, let me help you out. <laughs> There you go, Luigi. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, do they still work? Well, Jesus, that's a surprise. All right, Manuel, let's continue. Yeah, let's continue. All right, let me just close this window really quick. All right, Luigi, let's go. Uh, uh Luigi, where are you going? I'm going upstairs where Junior clearly is. Y yeah, but this is a robbery, Luigi. We gotta rob the house. Adio, we're already inside. Come on, let's just go upstairs and get this over with. No, Luigi, we're already too far in. We have to make this more believable. Now, come on, let's go to the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff in there. What? Uh, uh, you're so weird, Maddio. We're literally already in the house. All right, let's try to find some stuff to steal in here. Hmm. You found anything, Luigi? I mean, we could try stealing the air fryer. He loves cooking stuff in there. No, we're not stealing the air fryer, Luigi. That's way too big. Okay, well, I don't know what you want me to do then, okay? If you want him to take this robbery seriously, then we have to steal things he actually cares about. No, you just have to steal stuff in general. When it comes to a robbery, it doesn't matter what specifically you steal. It's still a robbery. Let's see. What can we take from here? What? Ooh, we have all these spices here. We can take some of these. Now that is a super lame idea. Junior doesn't even use those spices. He's not gonna care. I'm just gonna go for the air fryer. Whatever, have fun lugging that thing around yourself. All right, let's see. Let's steal some of these spices. Let's steal some basil. Let's steal some paprika. Only the most important ones. And let's steal some... Uh, was this one open in the first place? <laughs> <gasps> ah! 
What happened, Matthew? Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god! Cinnamon! Cinnamon in my eye! What? How did you get cinnamon in your eye? Did you open it? No, no, no! No, 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 I didn't! I was, I was trying to steal the spices! Cinnamon! Cinnamon sprayed in my eye for some reason! Oh my god, there's cinnamon in my eye! Oh, I need milk! I need milk! Ha! <laughs> serves you right! I told you to go for the air fryer! Wait, what the heck? What is that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What the heck was that? Where did that thing come from? What even is this thing? A, a clock? A clock just fell from there? <laughs> what are you saying, Luigi? You know, this milk doesn't taste very good. Ugh, honestly, never mind. I don't even know how to explain this one. Oh, what a spicy aftermath. <laughs> hey, don't you think it's time for your demise? <laughs> oh, man, that's not even the last of me either. You have no idea. Oh, Junior! Okay, Maddio, now do you want to listen to me? Yeah, I probably should have listened to you. Maybe we should have went upstairs in the first place. Okay, Luigi, on to the stairs. Great, we can finally get this stick over with what the heck what is this what do you mean man you just go up the stairs we can't there's this weird gate in the way okay then why don't we just push it out of the way it's just a stupid stairs gate These things are easy <laughs> okay yeah this thing's not gonna budge what are you supposed to do here Oh, I see you found the Gate of Doom. There's no real reason why I named it that. Just figured it'd make things a little more fun. You'll have to find the key to open it. I won't tell you where it is. I'll just give you a hint. The key unlocks the gate. What kind of hint was that? There's no way he's this annoying. I can't say I'm surprised, but hey, at least he set up a fun little challenge for us. How is this fun, man? Yeah, we were just supposed to go in, pick him up, and come back. Yeah, but it's not like the vacation we were on was much better either. Come on, let's look for this key, Luigi. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna cover this. This side, you cover that side. Hmm, okay, so he said that the key unlocks the gate, and the gate is kind of brownish, so... <gasps> oh, that's it! I have to look in all the brown objects! Okay, so let's see, uh, we got the chair, all right, is the key over here? <laughs> is, is it here? It, 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 it's not here. How are you doing, Luigi? Uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm looking at this shoe rack, because if I think about it, this is like the easiest place to hide a small object. So let's see, we gotta inspect all the shoes. Hmm, don't see anything here. I don't see anything here either. Let's see what we, wait, what? Why do I see something shiny in those brown shoes? <laughs> I was right, I knew the hint had something to do with it. <sighs> I don't really think the hint had anything to do with it. Okay, so now we have the, wait a minute, this looks just like the exploding key from earlier. Is this key gonna explode? Well, has it exploded yet? Uh. No, not from the looks of it. I guess this might be the one that opened the gate. All right, Mandio, let's try it. Oh, sweet, Luigi, you did it. You found the right key and unlocked the gate. Uh, uh Mandio, I don't think we really saved ourselves from much. What do you mean, Luigi? Uh, oh, my God. How can he do this? How can he do this to us? We're dead, Luigi. We're dead. We're dead. I don't think I have to explain this one. Just try to find a way up. In my opinion, it's one of the more tame traps I've set up, but maybe that's just me. I don't think you guys can make it. <sighs> well, Luigi, I, I guess it's been nice knowing you, brother. No, Maddio, this isn't the end. We can make it up. But, but Luigi, people barely ever survive stepping on Legos, let alone this many. How are we possibly going to do this? Trust me, Maddio, we'll find a way. We just have to believe in ourselves. Do you believe in yourself, Maddio? Hmm, I don't know. But I guess I can try. I can try for you, Luigi. All right, Luigi, let's go. Ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I did it! I made it up! Uh, no, Luigi, we did it! Uh, oh yeah, right, we did it! Okay, now where's Junior? I wanna get this over with. Uh, let's see... Well, I think his closed room door gives us a bit of a hint. Oh yeah, so he was in his room! Okay then, let's go in and get him! Look, I don't really think that matters. Wait a minute, Luigi, I think he's on a phone call. Well, let's try to listen in. Got it! Isn't this kind of weird, though, an invasion of his privacy? Luigi, we're already invading his privacy. We're robbing the house! Why do you keep thinking about morals? 
Anyway, it's explicit. I kind of need someone to talk to right now. Okay, well, you came to the wrong place because I don't like you. That's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. It's just that today's kind of been a rough day and I don't really have anyone to talk about it with. But basically, as I'm calling you, I'm sitting in my closet hiding from burglars because I wished my family away. <laughs> okay, well, good. I don't know what to tell you. You're just an idiot. Son, are you being mean to people on the phone? Oh, uh, no, Dad! God! Son, I can hear your conversation. Tone it down a little. <sighs> okay, fine. Jeez. Uh, I hope things don't get worse for you, I guess? Thanks, man. I really appreciate hearing that, and I'm really glad to have awesome friends like you. We're not friends. Awesome acquaintances like you. Wish we weren't acquaintances. I'm glad that we exist on the same planet as each other. There, what about that? I mean, it's literally not wrong. Wish that weren't the case. <sighs> well, I still appreciate the words. Thanks for the talk, man. Dad, we need to switch cell providers. So, so he really does miss us, doesn't he? Yeah, I guess so. Do you think we should give up the act? I don't know. It kind of depends. <laughs> ah, robbers! Okay, yeah, let's keep the act up. Do you seriously not recognize us still? Wait a minute. You guys have the same clothes as people from my family. Well, come on in. There's no actual way. Uh, I don't get it. How is he smart enough to set up all these traps but not smart enough to recognize us? Okay, so I have some questions for you guys. Why exactly are you guys pretending to look, act, and sound just like people from my family? Yeah, we're here to rob the house and uh, and kidnap you, so get over here. Oh, I'm not getting anywhere near you guys, unless it's a fight you're asking for. A fight, huh? Not a bad idea. Well, Madio, Madio, you're not going to actually fight Junior, are you? Well, right now, it kind of seems like the only option we've got, and we're bored anyway, so... All right, Junior. Bring it! Oh, you've got it, old man! Dude, your coordination sucks. Uh, oh yeah? Well, let me flatten you in my Corvette! His what? Get over here! Why me? Oh, that is it! Woo! Missed me! Uh, uh, phew, Captain Crunch was right! Uh, yeah! Oh, yes, I have no choice! Uh, what the heck? Ha! <laughs> Scary Cat's hiding in his shell. Uh, Luigi, I'd probably move out of the way if I were you. What? What's he gonna do with that? Uh oh, shoot! Whoa! Ha! What did I tell you? I win! Nope, still got energy in me! Yeah! Oh! Uh, you'll regret that! Time to go cowboy mode. <laughs> what? What is cowboy mode? Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> All right, partner, let's lasso him up. Uh, ah! What the heck? Uh, Junior, I'm diving this instant. This isn't funny. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. All right, your turn, lady. <sighs> Uh, why does everyone keep calling me that? It doesn't make any sense. Let us go, Junior. <sighs> hey, Mandio, these wires are really easy to break out of. You just have to wiggle your way out of it. <sighs> yeah, I already wiggled my way out, too. Well, shoot. I guess I'm dead. Well, time to put away this cowboy hat, because it didn't do me any favors. Cowboy mode did not work. Hmm. How about we lasso you, Junior? <sighs> no! <sighs> well... At least that big slam was better than getting lassoed. Oh, Junior, you really backed yourself into a corner now. Oh, shoot, I did. Oh, this is the end. Junior, you, you can't Junior. run away forever. Oh, no, I got so far. I did so much, this can't be the end. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Guys, why haven't you killed me yet? Whoa! What the heck? How did that happen? Wait, what? It, it, it was you? <sighs> Man, thank God. B bully, y you saved my life. B but why? Why did you do it? Is it because you found it in your heart to care about me for once? What? No, I did it because if anybody's going to kill you, I'd rather be me than anyone else. I can't tell if I should be happy about that or not. Be happy about it. I still saved your life. Huh? 
Okay, you still saved my life, so I don't really care what your reasoning was. But wait, doesn't this kind of count as assault? Nah, we coordinated this whole thing together. Uh, okay, so I have a lot of questions now, but the main question is, who are the robbers? Y you really don't know? Take off their masks. Okay. Ah! What? Uh, was the shovel really necessary? Yeah, man, you could have killed us. That kind of was the point. I'm actually kind of disappointed that it didn't. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Junior, I'm so glad you're okay. What? G guys? Okay, so my second assumption was true. You guys didn't disappear. Uh... What? Nothing. It's kind of a weird story, but why didn't I get to go on the vacation with you guys? Well, Bowser says he forgot you in the garage because we were in such a rush to leave this morning, which I don't really know why you would punish him by putting him somewhere that you wouldn't remember to check. Yeah, my fault. I'm sorry, Junior. We decided to cancel the vacation anyway because everyone kept complaining. Well, of course I'll forgive you. You're my dad. I also kind of have to forgive you because I live under your roof, so, you know. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad that we're all okay. Oh, someone's at the door. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Okay. Uh, so, Bully, you want to be friends? No, I'm getting out of your life now. Uh, oh, well, uh, okay then. Yeah, I should probably leave too. It's way past my shift. See you guys around. All right, see ya. Ah, oh, man. I'm glad the family's finally back together. Junior! What? Do you mind explaining to me why a pizza guy showed up at the door and said that you owe him hundreds of dollars? Well, hundreds of dollars? But the pizza was like 20. Yeah, but you owe him a lot more in damages and interest. Oh, that's it, Junior. You're no, going back to the garage. I'm not going back there, no. <laughs>